Hello and welcome to 3ABN Thursday Night Live. We are so happy to have you here. My name is C.A. Murray. And allow me once again to thank you for spending just a little of your no doubt busy day with us. To thank you for your love, your prayers, your support of Three Angels Broadcasting Network. As by the grace of God, these 33 plus years we have attempted with your help to lift up the mighty and matchless name of Jesus and have a good time doing so. And we've seen lives changed, destinies rearranged, men and women come to the Lord in great numbers. And uh, we are so proud to be a tool in the hand of God with your help for the salvation of the souls of men and women. You'll forgive me if I'm a little bit giddy today uh, because uh, of, of our guests. And, and, and uh, when we talk about Curtis and Paula Aikens, who've been here lo these many years. Um, we just have a good time with them. We love them dearly. Uh, they are ministers of the Most High Order and um, health mavens, both of them. And guys, how many years have you been coming to 3ABN? 21, 21 years. That's 21, yeah. 21. See, 33 21. years, we were 21 at the 33. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, I'm, I'm just listening to all this. Just, I mean, Praise I just had a rude awakening so just from that right. statement right there. So yeah. shortly after you got married, you started coming here. Uh-huh. I yeah. think like yes. two years in. Two years and about three months. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. 21 days. Praise yeah. God for having you here. I actually sat there on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. These, these guys will make you laugh, um, I tell you. Uh, the subject matter for today, if we can get a close shot of, of our fourth guest here. Fourth who's guest. On the, yeah, who's sitting here on this <laughs> table, you'll know what we're, we're going to talk about healthy heart today. And everything that uh, we speak about will appertain to keeping this thing running as efficiently as humanly possible mm -hmm. by the grace of God so that we can be uh, servants of the Lord and serve him effectively. Then what I really love about having Curtis and Paula here is on the, in the second hour, they will disabuse themselves of this finery that they're dressed in <laughs> and break it down to their kitchen clothes <laughs> and go uh, across the studio and do some cooking. Mm -hmm. And um, a little birdie told me, Paula, that uh, one of the things you're going to be making today is, is mac and cheese. And you are okay. one of the ones who has perfected uh, <laughs> vegetarian mac and cheese so that it, is, it loses nothing in a translation. <laughs> <laughs> And we call that, I think the regular people call that cheese macaroni. Yeah, uh -huh. cheese with some macaroni in it. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> so we're going to do macaroni and cheese. All right. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. We're we going to hurt somebody. I know it's going to be good. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> definitely, definitely. You know, I, and I, let me, let me pack, give you your flowers. Air, um, you, you leave us. Uh, you are a good cook. Praise you are a consistently good mm -hmm. cook. And when, when you come... You don't have to worry about leftovers. No. Because <laughs> folk kind of vacuum clean their way in here and really take yeah. care of business. Because you, you, you must be very proud because she, yes. she cooks well. Yes. Uh, yes. And I don't know of anything that I've ever tasted that hasn't been superior. Well her, done. Her food is so good. I have found myself. Oh, mercy. Unconsciously. Mm. Shh. Take off my Shh. shoes. <laughs> Remove my socks to lick my toes. That's how good her food is. Even made you cough. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just saying a prayer. Because, see, she knew it was coming, right? I, 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 I don't know. I, I've I, never I, tasted food quite that good. And that's what I'm talking about. That's why she tapped me on the hand. I said, I, I'm just going to ignore that I tap. Could, I could not believe that you were going to go there. I just But, but, but that's a compliment of the highest yeah. order. 
I guess in some you places will, it is. Okay. <laughs> You will get a phone yeah, call. This, on this is worldwide, right? You get Maybe some people in the world do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Some so we, may, we may have lost a couple of people in the last, <laughs> in the last couple of minutes, but of course, yeah, I said worldwide. <laughs> These guys are funny. <laughs> they really are. They are. They are great sense of humor, great ministry, uh, good cook. Uh, Curtis knows a lot about health. What? What? You studied this. This is something you went to school for. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was when we first met, uh, my wife. I was an herbalist. Everything can be cured by herbs mm -hmm. and herbs only. Mm -hmm. I knew that I was unbalanced and she was a nutritionist. So I need to have somebody else who knew something about nutrition. So that's really how we hooked up. Good partnership. Yeah. Me are herbalist, hers a nutritionist. Mm -hmm. And I realized I need to learn more than just herbal medicine. Uh -huh. So now I became a naturopath, doctor of naturopathy, uh -huh. MD. Uh -huh. People always ask, what did that stand for? I said, North Dakota, <laughs> MS, <laughs> Mississippi. <laughs> And they would say, oh, you know, hey, so really so somewhere around Illinois. <laughs> right, right. So, and then, you know, some of them, I let them stew in there for a little while, you know, I'm, I'm doing this and now I let them, you know. But anyway, so it's a person who specializes in lifestyle medicine, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not just herbs only, mm -hmm. but lifestyle medicine. Yeah, and then yeah. with my wife, uh, with the cooking, because you can talk about health, the PowerPoint presentations, the scientific mm -hmm. studies, but then... I want to see a demonstration of cooking. Yes. I'm going to put the food in my mouth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That more or less uh, balances it out. And uh, she's my right hand person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you know, we always say when it comes to food, and that is, oh, taste and see, and see. Oh, yes. that the Lord is good. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because when people ask about questions about recipes and all that kind of stuff, I'm like, you know, honestly, I go in the kitchen and I talk to the father. The one thing he always reminds me of, CA, he says, hey, when it comes to food, I'm the creator of all things. Yes. All you have to do is listen to me and I will show you how to work it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. all praise goes praise to the Lord. Yes. It really does. So when you do a, a, a weekend or a series of seminars, you do the, the theory, you do the theoretical, mm -hmm. then you get down in the kitchen mm -hmm. and, and work it. Right, that's right. part of the presentation. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and that's important. Because a lot of people just do the information educational part of it, mm -hmm. but people say, okay, now I know what you told me, what I need to eat, what not, I need not to eat. Mm -hmm. How to go about doing that? Now? Yes. And that's the application where the food comes mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. the cooking. You know, sometimes we do it in a video, or sometimes actual cooking class, and then mm -hmm. actually taste the food. Okay, good deal. And mm -hmm. that's what we're going to do tonight. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, like I said, they're going to they're gonna put on their cooking clothes and their Curtis and Paula <laughs> aprons and hit that kitchen and uh, hit it hard. Um, one of the things I like, Paula, is that your recipes have great taste and they're not very complex. And mm -hmm. you know, that you yeah. can get a good tasty product without, I mean, just frazzling yourself in the kitchen for hours and hours, <laughs> adding this and watching pots and boiling <laughs> that, that kind of thing. Well, you shouldn't be able to get a real good result yeah. without Killing yourself, you, you know, don't to have get to it. Go through yeah. all those changes, and yeah. because it's plant-based, mm -hmm. you don't have to do a lot. You know, you have to know what herbs and yeah. and, and and onions and stuff to mix together. But I just, I mean, the kitchen is just my. Ooh, I can't even begin to explain. I can stay. Okay, my first love is God. My second love is Curtis. I better throw my cheering in just in case mm. they watch this one. Mm -hmm. They the third mm -hmm. one. And then it's cooking. Then the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty yeah. important. I can deal with that. I hope Curtis can. <laughs> hey, no, hey, I'm right behind God. Hey, that's how I can go. I don't want to go higher than that. <laughs> very good. Very good. You're well placed. That, that was good. Can, yeah, you, can you, you say it over well again? I, I think we're good. You, you, okay, you're good. Yeah, you're okay. good. Uh, yeah. and, and the thing about this is, CA, I have to test and taste all of this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm up to my ankles. I mean, it's like every time a recipe, a new recipe, I have to come down and taste this. So you're the guinea pig. Yes, yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah. a rough life, yeah. man. But I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm willing you're to up accept to the challenge. it. I, I really it. am. I really <laughs> am. Yeah. So. People say all the time, I would gladly take your place, Curtis. Yes. I would gladly take your place. So, <laughs> so not in this lifetime. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Your food, Paula, dances on the tongue. It's, it's a term <laughs> I use for yes. when I say, uh -huh. you don't want it to kind of just lay there, you know, to <laughs> follow it. You want to kind of dance on the tongue a little bit before you, you know, that you enjoy it. You know, you I, 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 I yeah. love your choice of words. <laughs> well, I, I think of a lot of dancing on the tongue. I'm going to be using that from now on. Oh, my Yeah. I pick up a lot of stuff, yeah. I like yeah, that. Like, well, yeah. you want to dance on the yeah, tongue a little uh -huh. bit, you know, not just kind of lay there and, and swallow. Absolutely. So we're, we're looking forward to that second half. Curtis, begin to walk <laughs> us through. We got this giant heart here that uh, surprised Paula. <laughs> we're talking about, about, yeah. about, about really a very serious mm -hmm. subject. Mm -hmm. um, heart disease, I don't know what the numbers are. Perhaps you have them. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's prevalent. It's a yeah. big deal. Mm -hmm. um, so l let's begin. Walk us through and sort of take us where you want us to go with this. Okay. Mm -hmm. First of all, before we begin... Uh, in our ministry, of course, now we're the South Central Conference Health Ministries Directors. Okay. 
and that covers four states, mm -hmm. Alabama, Mississippi, Kentucky, mm -hmm. and also Tennessee, and the northwest part of Florida. Of Florida. Uh -huh. That's South Central Conference, so we're over that territory. Mm -hmm. And with that in mind, that's also the territory of the stroke belt. Is that so? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and with that in mind, since that's our territory, mm -hmm. we have been, over the last year or so, taking the health ministry away from the churches locally mm -hmm. and put the health ministry into the community where it belongs. Amen. Mm -hmm. So therefore, and I think we can go to our first graphic on, uh, there's a map mm -hmm. of the United States and also you can see the stroke belt. So let's go to the map at this time. And there it is. Mm -hmm. So, so that's help, getting a little Mississippi too, isn't it? Right, Mississippi, yeah. Louisiana, Louisiana, but uh -huh. again, right there, um, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, uh, Kentucky, that's basically the heart of South Central Conference. That's our territory. Mm -hmm. So cardiovascular disease is, of course, uh, prevalent. It's 18% higher in that location. My soul. So because of that, uh, following Jesus' um, command uh, there in Matthew chapter 4, verse 23, he went about all of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. Judea, mm -hmm. all the most parts of the world. So we go to Jerusalem, mm -hmm. that's Huntsville, Alabama. <laughs> Judea, that's South Central Conference. Mm -hmm. All the most parts of the world, that's 3ABM. Yes. In that order. All right. So with that in mind, cardiovascular disease, and now we've been doing what we call the Healthy Heart Conference. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be uh, showing, uh, sharing with the audience uh, a little bit about what we've been doing and some of the things that we can do. And let me just put this out front right now. Heart disease can and has been reversed. Amen. We say that in our conference, and that's sometimes <clears throat> some jaws simply drop. Mm -hmm. It can be reversed, all right? We'll show a little bit about that probably in the kitchen about some of the foods that uh, can take care of that as well. But anyway, so uh, before we begin, I want to, uh, number one, I'm going to get a close-up because in our conferences, we like to talk about anatomy and physiology. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hold this kind of straight so they can come in on this. And uh, what people see about anatomy and physiology, they can understand ab about what's going on as far as the heart is concerned. Mm -hmm. So now the heart is like any other muscle in the body except for one exception. It never rests. Mm -hmm. It just keeps beating mm -hmm. over and over again, over 100,000 beats uh, a day. So, so therefore, what we talk in our conferences is when a person says, I have heart disease, there are many diseases of the heart. Mm. Mitral valve prolapse, atrial fibrillation, congestive heart failure. But when a person says, I have heart disease, more specifically, they're talking about coronary artery disease. Uh -huh. Coronary means crown on top of mm -hmm. the arteries. So right here, you go close up here, these are the coronary arteries. This is the right coronary artery. This is the left coronary artery, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. They're on top of the heart, hence coronary arteries. These arteries can become disease, mm -hmm. hence coronary artery disease. Mm -hmm. When a person sees that, and since blood flows throughout the heart, if these arteries are diseased, then the blood uh, cannot, uh, the oxygen in the blood cannot get to the heart muscle. Mm -hmm. Of course, if it's clogged, you have a heart attack, carotid artery, you have a stroke. Mm. So we look at this and tell people about this. And so when they go into our conferences, uh, there's a crash course of anatomy and physiology. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They come out knowing a little bit about uh, medical terminology without getting too deep mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. heart disease and more specifically, coronary artery disease mm -hmm. of the heart muscle itself. Now you got uh, reds and blues and Yeah, vessels? now the blues are the veins, uh -huh. the vessels, uh -huh. I mean veins, and then the red is the artery itself, okay. all right? Mm -hmm. And so and this, this big one right here, the red one here, this is aorta. Uh -huh. when, when this bad boy blows, that's, that's out, almost lights out, mm. you know. Uh, that's the biggest uh, artery in the, um, in the heart itself, in the whole body. So, but yeah, this is, uh, so this, this is not, a, this is a larger size, it's not to scale, mm -hmm. thank goodness. But, but you know, <laughs> but, but, but you know what? 
But when a person has congestive heart failure, uh -huh. where part of the heart muscle has failed, mm -hmm. then it compensates and expands, get wider, so that it can pump more blood. Uh -huh. So heart can get wider. Yeah. Because a part of the heart muscle has died, so therefore it compensates and gets bigger gets to compensate bigger. for the lack of loss that is not doing its right. job effectively. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, that's that. And then uh, later on, we're going to talk about uh, what happens mm -hmm. and have a picture of how these arteries get clogged up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are three foods, based on clinical studies, that can simply clog up the coronary arteries, three in particular. Mm -hmm. Now, moment now, I may hurt some feelings, but these are the three basic foods that will clog up these arteries, all right? Number one, meat, flesh foods. Mm -hmm. Number two, fat. And number three, refine carbohydrates. Okay, let's break it down. So now, that, yeah, now, honey, yeah. <laughs> now, people understand about meat, flesh. Right. Pork, chicken, lamb, beef, turkey, et cetera, okay, mm -hmm. that, okay? And then fat, just fat, deep fried food, fat, okay? Mm. But then one area is the refined carbohydrates. Yeah. And that's the term that a lot of people are just confused about. That's what I'm No carbs. Have to break oh my yeah. goodness, no carbs. Or, oh, okay, so honey, walk them through just a little bit in our class and our conferences about the three different types of carbohydrates. One of the things I want to start by just saying, most of the time we meet people, clients who come to us, or people who I meet, and I ask them questions about carbs. So when we start our program off, we actually have all the different carbs in a graphic format. And mm -hmm. we ask the question, how many of these are actually carbs? And it's about <laughs> 11 of them. It's about what, nine, well, about nine And you'd be foods. surprised how many people cannot name them all, hmm. but they'll say, well, I don't think that's, that's one, and I think that's one. But the bottom line is that we're now beginning just to do a little kind of a playing around with them, trying to get them to see that maybe the information you have is not the correct information. Hmm. So then from there, we then move into the types of carbs. We say there are three types of carbs. Three? Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a simple carb, which is the carb in the Bible, Genesis 129, nuts, grains, and seeds. Mm -hmm. So but you meet, I've given you every seed-bearing fruit from the tree. So when God is talking to us, he's actually talking about the first one, which is called a simple. Mm -hmm. The simple yeah. carbs is God's diet. The mm -hmm. fruit. The fruit. Then the second one is the complex group. These are the ones that got the beans and all those, the beans, and you got the rice, and those are your mm -hmm. complex carbs. And I always say, if you were to look through a microscope and try to look at those foods, you would see a webbing going on, mm -hmm. almost like an interstate. Uh -huh. That's because those foods take a longer time to break down, mm -hmm. and they're more natural and better for us to have. Now, the one, everybody who thought the simple was actually <laughs> refined, the refined carbohydrates are, we say, those foods mm -hmm. that are not made from the plant, but made in, in a plant. A plant. <laughs> I think he oh. got it, baby. He, you got, got it on the first try. He, got it right he must okay. went to church school. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> so these are the foods that have been a lot of things added to it, you know, a lot of sugar and uh -huh. fat. Okay, mm. uh, the processing of them alone is what's really gonna cause problems for the heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. so they learn that kind of thing and they're shocked because most people come to our classes are like, I don't do carbs, I don't do potatoes, I don't do no bread, I stopped doing pasta. And I'm like, okay, you are in for a shocker. Yeah. And okay. they are. So you're really cutting out the wrong kinds of carbs yeah, when you, 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 yeah. you think you're helping yourself, you're people not. People do not That's differentiate it. between the different types of carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. If you break the word down, carbohydrates, carbo, come from the word carbon, mm -hmm. an element used for combustion. Uh -huh. Hydrate, water, mm -hmm. fire hydrant, you know, dehydrated lack of water, hydrate. Right. Body is 70% water. Mm -hmm. We need carbon energy to mm -hmm. function, so we need carbohydrate. It fuels the body as a carburetor fuels the car. I see. Mm -hmm. So we need carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So God's original diet, Genesis, 129 Genesis 318 is a carbohydrate diet. Mm -hmm. Therefore, any diet that does not, uh, any diet that eliminates any one of those food groups, be it fruit, whole grains, legumes, mm -hmm. whatever, is not a diet that's suitable for mankind. Mm -hmm. So you got these um, high protein diet, the paleo diet, mm -hmm. the keto diet. I mean, all these diets 
more or less eliminate carbohydrate. Mm. See, mm -hmm. so you can automatically dismiss those diet as air. All right. Okay. So okay. yeah, but the carbohydrate. So interesting. Yeah. No, so, let me just ask you something because uh, coming from a very lay, the complex carbohydrate, mm -hmm. carbohydrate mm -hmm. would be the best because it takes longer to break down. So wouldn't that give you energy or fuel for Absolutely. a longer period of time? Good. Absolutely. Excellent. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So when you do yes. beans and rice, you know, when you do those foods that are complex, and the father did it that way mm -hmm. specifically because he doesn't want us like first of all, once we eat our breakfast, then four to five hours we eat our lunch. Four to five hours we eat our supper, mm -hmm. all right? Four to five hours, go to bed. Right. Okay. That's how the body is designed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so the most amazing thing that we've actually seen when he talks about heart disease being reversed, we've got clients that have come to us with high cholesterol and high blood pressure, and we just put them on plant-based eating, and we've seen their cholesterol numbers come down. We've seen their blood pressure numbers come down mm. because it's God's original diet. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's so all this snacking, eating donuts, and, oh. and, and uh, uh, you, you're an hour later, you're hungry again because yeah. mm -hmm. that thing has flushed its way That's through. All. It's refined. It yes. And refined. So you have a high sugar spike. Mm -hmm. The higher the spike, the greater the drop. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. complex, it's more of a curve. And if we continue eating those three foods, refined carbohydrates, high fat diet, fried foods, and flesh foods, this is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, I don't have to tell everybody which one of these vials is the result of a high fat, also high meat, and refined carbohydrates, all right? So, of course, we want the bottom one here. What people are looking at right here, this right here, mm -hmm. is the number one cause of death in this country approaching 100 years. Mm. This visual right here is the reason why most people in the United States are dying because of this right here. Mm. This is atherosclerosis or plaque buildup. Mm -hmm. Let's say this can be the coronary artery, those arteries on the top side of the mm -hmm. heart, mm -hmm. okay? This can be clogged with plaque based on flesh foods, high fat, and refined carbohydrates. Mm. And the key is that this here can and has been reversed, mm. all right? Mm -hmm. And so when we do the Healthy Heart Conference, we have a lot of visual aids, and then when people see that, uh, they realize this is something that they will remember when they go to bed and sleep at night. Because yeah, before this program is over, CA, this first half, 60 people will have died in the United States of heart disease. Of heart disease. Before this program, before we go into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Over a three quarters of a million people have a heart attack. Three quarters of a million people mm -hmm. have a heart attack, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And so therefore, this is uh, public enemy number one right mm -hmm. here. Yeah. It's heart disease and it's in our territory. So therefore, yeah. We've yeah. been traveling uh, throughout, um, we call it the Healthy Heart Conferences mm -hmm. throughout the South. And um, I think we probably want to um, talk about um, the foods too, because the food is very important as far as oh, so. how to unclog the arteries. So what we have done, we've done one step further and um, we have a graphic of, uh, we have a we have a garden now. Uh, we've been having a garden for years, but um, there's a story behind that. And so, oh. wait a minute, that, that looks like you, honey. That is me. Well, 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 let's talk about that because that's in our backyard. Well, I, yeah, the thing is so amazing, CA. I'm actually, well, now you already know, and I know that the audience have known me from back in the day, mm -hmm. 2006, I was that's diagnosed right. with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And well. of course, it is now 2018. And so I just celebrated 12 years. 12 years. Cancer free. Amen. And I think she's going to make I it. Have my, yeah. I have my pink band on. I wear my bands all the time or I have my pins on because I meet people mm -hmm. who are going through cancer and it gives me a chance to talk with them and mm -hmm. try to help them along their journey. Mm -hmm. But I'm in a study right now. And this study is being done by the University of Birmingham. And it's actually for post-cancer survivors. Wow. And they, they, I'm in a study, it's a whole year, and part of the study is the cancer, believe it or not, the Cancer Society is trying to find out, can a cancer survivor have a garden, work in the garden, 
eat from the garden and would it make a difference with their cancers? <laughs> And who would ever thought that was going to ever happen? Yeah, you right? are the Not perfect cancer student. Society. Yes, yes. Sign and me so up, I Scotty. Said, That's sign right. up. Of course, you know. And so a part of it was a garden, mm -hmm. a raised bed garden. It has just been a miracle. It has been, uh, I'm telling you, people have come by and talk to us about it. They can't believe it. And it's funny because the, I have master gardeners who are part of this program. Mm -hmm. And they're like, I've never seen a garden not grow this tall. They're like eight feet tall. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've never seen so many cucumbers and tomatoes in my entire life. Wow. And there's nothing, mm -hmm. there's no holes or anything because we're out there in the morning, we're mm -hmm. working through the garden and mm -hmm. doing different things and then eating from it. Yes. And then sharing. Like the more cucumbers I give out, the more cucumbers come on the cucumber bush. <laughs> oh, and yeah. so it's just been amazing. Mm -hmm. It's been amazing. The food is good. Mm -hmm. It's all organic. The whole garden is organic. Mm -hmm. So we're not using any chemicals and stuff out there on mm -hmm. it. But it's been a blessing. To, to us, and of course, getting into this whole thing about yeah. eating from the garden, God's well, yeah. garden. Your health is good. You can't, you're cancer free still. Mm -hmm. Praise oh. the Lord. Yeah. Praise, yeah. The Lord. Praise Him. Now, one thing I've noticed when 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 you guys come to cook, you rarely fry and never deep fry. No, I, that I've that I've seen. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. The yeah. word fry or frying is not found in Scripture. No, <laughs> no I'm sure. <laughs> okay, that, that, that was not a joke. That is. <laughs> no, really, it's, it's not. It's for a reason. Yeah. Really. So it's not found in scripture. Mm -hmm. Deep fried is not there. Yes. You know, so, you know, uh, what, Exodus, uh, what, 16, uh, one month before children of Israel, uh, the law, the Ten Commandments, uh, God said, bake, or the word seethe. Mm -hmm. in Hebrew, that means to bake. Mm -hmm. But nothing was fried. Nothing was fried. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we don't do that. Um, I try to use like the real good, if I do oils at all, olive oil, the ones that are better for us that, that goes into the cell right away. So we want to make sure. And I try to get them, I talk to them about stuff like just because we're doing coconut oils and olive oils, it doesn't mean you can fry your french fries and fry your chicken in that. Now we mm. want you to mm -hmm. cut that out. <laughs> yeah, cut yeah. Just cut it out. Mm, yeah. So heating any oil is, is not good. Um, to, well, to, no, well, it's, it's the amount of time. Now the one thing that's really good, CA is, is the fact that when you're doing the, the, the plant-based foods, you don't need a lot of time to cook them because you're talking about vegetables. Like, you know, uh, one of the yeah. things you're going to yeah. see, I'm doing a stir fry that's knock down, drag out good. But, you yeah. know, the bottom line is that, you know, you're, the, the pot you're using, which might be a wok, it's going to be different from a regular skillet. Mm -hmm. And then also you're going to use a small amount of oil. And because you're just really kind of, I, I would say, basting mm -hmm. your carrots or your whatever, your, your broccoli or whatever, you're not cooking it like you do if you're frying potatoes in a pot uh -huh. or fried chicken, which takes a longer time. Right. So these oils, like the olive oil and stuff, they're very they're volatile and they can't have real high heat. Mm -hmm. So you want to be in there for the shortest period of time and not a lot of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that makes a difference. Yeah, makes yeah. A difference. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, so, Healthy Heart, the Healthy Heart Conference. And so uh, we did uh, this several uh, Healthy Heart Conferences in the South where we live, the South Central Conference. And uh, we did uh, one uh, in Huntsville, <coughs> Alabama. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, we can run this clip, uh, we see the audience, and then we have some interviews of the Healthy Heart Conference, and then we'll go talk about some things in addition to that as well. Okay. So let's run that clip at this time. Mm -hmm. And that's at, uh, there in the Spring Hill Suites uh, by Marriott, downtown Huntsville. Uh -huh. And uh, so they had um, um, over 100 people there. Mm -hmm. I think we have some uh, interviews uh, following that as well. So we can run those interviews at this time and uh, see what people were saying as far as the Healthy Heart Conference is concerned. Because mm -hmm. we're going to be uh, traveling uh, this year and next year we have already lined up six cities wow. that we're coming to mm -hmm. in the south of the Healthy Heart Conference. So I don't know if they got that uh, clip for the interviews, and they can run that uh, the clip of the interviews of the Healthy Heart Conference. I really enjoyed the Healthy Heart Conference. I come to any and everything that Paula uh, and her husband, uh, Curtis, put on with about health because I learned something new every single time. My biggest takeaway this time was about red grapes, about how they help to heal uh, the heart and everything. I just was amazed by that. Learning about strokes, hearts, how to prevent them, eating more healthy food, eating non-processed food. If it has a label, don't eat it. 
Eat the stuff that's healthy. That's stuff you go for. And I love their conferences. You can come more than one time, more than two times, and you're still going to leave with information you never even knew you knew. They tell you nothing is free. Well, you missed it if you did not come to this conference. It was awesome. So much good and free information. To God be the glory. We need more of this, but it should not always be free. So I heard things that I know that I'm going to use immediately. The ginger, the hawthorn, I never had heard of that. Just natural ways to get your blood pressure down. Eating the right things, I probably knew that part. I just keep ignoring it, but I feel like it kind of shook me up enough to where I'm like, I got to do something different. So I just encourage you, everybody, it was so well attended. So everybody, certainly make sure you get this information. It is literally life changing. We always have our pastor to join us as well, Pastor mm -hmm. W.S. Snell there, our senior pastor in Huntsville. Mm -hmm. And so he's been with us uh, for the last two years as well. Uh, the lady who said, uh, if it has a label, you know, put on the shelf. And I'll tell people, if you find yourself reading labels all the time when you go shopping, mm -hmm. then you're probably in the wrong area mm. because fruits and vegetables have no labels. Mm. You know, that's an interesting I don't want to say spin, but take on it mm. because people tell you, read the label, read the label, yeah. read the label. And, and you're saying if you're reading labels too much, yeah. you probably need to shop someplace else. Right, you're in the wrong area. Because right. right. yeah. yeah. fruits and vegetables don't have any labels. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people, uh, for most people, about half of what you eat keeps you alive. Mm -hmm. See, it's the other half that keeps the doctor alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, so we want to emphasize <laughs> on... Uh, I, I, there's more jokes coming, so just stay with me. Okay, Good. I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with you, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, so the main thing is we want to eat the things that keeps us alive, not keep the doctor alive or yeah. the surgeon alive as right. far as that's concerned. Mm -hmm. So we're going to walk them through uh, the Health Heart Conference and give some tidbits uh, to the listening audience uh, at the time. So when we first start, uh, you kind of kick it off, honey, as a it's very, icebreaker. Well, it's an icebreaker. Yes. It's, it's, you know, people don't know us. They're coming to the conference. Some mm -hmm. people are, are people who have been with us or seen us before, but the majority of people, they're from the community. Yes. They don't really know us. And so when mm -hmm. they come in, they're all sitting there trying to figure out what's going to go down. And the first thing we do is called five things that you should know but you really don't want to know. You just don't want to know. And so <laughs> therefore we ask for volunteers, five volunteers and they come mm -hmm. up. And so we give them vials mm -hmm. and these vials are vials with fat in them. And we ask them to hold the vial. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to say your name. Let's tell them what, what you have in the vial. And then we want to see how much fat is there. Mm -hmm. It blows their mind. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, some start confessing right away about what they were eating and they were giving their children and I'm not going to give it to them anymore. That's the yeah. children for those uh, who are wondering. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a good uh, it's a good opening, and it actually makes them really more inquisitive about the yeah. whole program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then uh, the second part is I take over as far as understanding cholesterol. Mm -hmm. And I ask a question out there. I put it in the audience. I say, okay, tell me some of the things that you've heard or read about cholesterol. Mm -hmm. This is some of the responses. Well, uh, I've heard that um, cholesterol causes heart disease. I heard that. Uh, well, one cholesterol is bad, <laughs> another cholesterol is good. Somebody said, well, I, th I think one organ makes cholesterol. I think that's the liver. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we go through all that. And so and I said, after I finished talking about cholesterol, it just simply mm. shatters everything they just said. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And they, oh, oh one, one of the things that people say is, uh, HDL is good cholesterol, and the LDL is the bad cholesterol. Mm. And I tell the audience, okay, number one, HDL and LDL, they're not even cholesterol. Mm. <laughs> and there's a hush. What does L LDL stand for? Low density lipoprotein. Mm -hmm. It's not even cholesterol, it's a protein. What's HDL? Oh, that's high density lipo protein. So HDL and LDL, they're not even cholesterol, they're protein. Mm. Let alone one being good yeah. and one being bad. bad. That right there, and I tell people, sometimes it's difficult to learn something new. Mm -hmm. It's more difficult to unlearn something uh, sure, that sure. we thought was true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. so once we unpack all of that, they just have a total uh, revelation of understanding cholesterol because mm -hmm. 
the body needs cholesterol. Yes. We, we need cholesterol for hormones, uh, uh, vitamin D, and uh, uh, cell membranes. Uh, we need cholesterol. So mm -hmm. that in itself is our opener. And then people are taking a lot of the medications, such as statin drugs. Uh -huh. You know, you look at the five top prescriptions in the United States. About no, five. one used to be Lipitor. Yeah, Lipitor. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. in the top five, and different lists have different ones, but the top five, this is the top five. You're going to have uh, Synthroid, uh -huh. okay, thyroid. Right. You're going to have some type of a statin drug, whether it's Lipitor or Crestor. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have something dealing with pain, uh, Vicodin. That's going to be up there. Yeah. And you're going to have some type of a blood pressure medication, an ACE inhibitor such as lisinopril. Uh -huh. that, that's the top five. You know, you got metformin, it's up there, six or seven. So mm -hmm. we target uh, blood pressure mm -hmm. and also cholesterol. And they also have a seminar on how to relieve chronic pain. Mm -hmm. We take out three of the top th five medications that people are taking on a routine wow. basis. Wow. Now talk about a woman's heart, honey, because, you know, a woman's heart is different from a man's heart. So... Her session is really eye opening. Talk about well, women heart. come to that one because they just they just can't believe. I say we do not have pains or like an elephant walking on our chest. Mm. That's what happens. We know for men when they're having a heart attack. Yeah. But a woman has a heart attack totally different. Her signs are a lot, a lot different from that of men. Her breathing is going to be different. Um, there might be problem with shoulder pains okay. that she's having that's also leading up to a heart attack. Mm. She might have issues where she's actually um, not only having back pain, but also months before the heart attack comes, she could be experiencing vomiting, she could be experiencing dizziness, and she's thinking that there's something not right, but it's really a heart attack getting ready to hit. Yeah. Mm, so yeah. we teach them all about, it's called the heart of a woman. Wow. And we showed them all the stats. Uh, quite a while back, News, News uh, Week came out with a magazine that talked um, about um, the heart attack and the heart disease and it related mm. to females. And so one thing is really good is that for years, most of the research was always done on men. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of research is being done on women as well. So yeah. they're yeah. seeing it yeah. differently. Yeah. So that's amazing. And those things that you would think maybe a cold is coming on and you mm -hmm. caught some mm -hmm. bug or something, mm -hmm. throwing up this mm -hmm. kind of, mm -hmm. precursor, to, mm -hmm. precursor. To, 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 to a heart attack. Right. And they would send the women uh -huh. home uh -huh. thinking there's something other than a heart attack right. and then they wind up dying of a heart attack because wow. those symptoms are not something that mm -hmm. the chest pain right. may, may not have it. So it may be in the jaw, maybe, yeah, yeah, the neck or uh -huh. the jaw pain. Uh -huh. Oh, you, you need to go to a dentist. Right. No, you're having a heart attack. So we talked to, talk to women about the fact that when you're feeling any things, we talk about the, the signs, they know all mm -hmm. the signs now, mm -hmm. that when you go to the hospital, you need to say, I need to keep EKG. Mm. I'd like to have an EKG done because mm -hmm. I think now this is the magic word now the magic word now if you are in a hospital and you say I think I'm having a heart attack they will bring that gurney out so fast <laughs> take you to a room and they will start working on you right away keyword so, you know, yeah. key is I think I'm having a heart attack yeah. that's it because they don't want you having a heart attack while you're in the waiting room yeah that's true yeah yeah emergency yeah. Yeah. kind yeah. of thing but yeah that, that's an yeah. opener a uh, woman's heart and because uh, you know, I mean 70 percent of the people who attend our conferences mm -hmm. are females, mm -hmm. you know, 70%. Yeah. So, it is you know, the number yeah, yeah. one killer of women. Yes. Most of the time when is we do, so? uh, oh, yeah. when we do, uh -huh. when we do uh, the heart of a woman, I always say, so what's the number one killer of women? And they always say cancer. Uh -huh. Breast cancer. And I cancer. said, no, mm -hmm. it's not breast cancer. It is heart disease. Heart disease. Mm -hmm. Number one. Mm -hmm. That's why every February mm -hmm. we have the big go red, yes. red hats, red pins. Yes. It's all about yeah. talking to women about the heart. Now, when you when you go to a particular church area, you want them to saturate the community because you want to bring community yes. people in, right. not just for church folk, but community also. Yeah, see, we, we go to... Um, conference centers, mm -hmm. Holiday Inn, Marriott, conference yeah. rooms, mm -hmm. all right. And so um, the next thing we talk about dealing with heart attacks, heart disease, cardiovascular disease is blood pressure. Mm -hmm. all right. uh -huh. And uh, we talk about how to lower your blood pressure. And a lot of people uh, are taking blood pressure medication. Um, Lacinopril, that's gonna be in the top five. Uh -huh. That's the ACE inhibitor. Anytime you have a blood pressure with the four letters in with P-R-I-L, mm -hmm. That's an ACE inhibitor. Mm -hmm. Angiostensin converting, in, it's an ACE inhibitor. Which means what? Right, it, well, ACE inhibitors simply um, dilate the arteries, so they're, I mean, 
dilate the arteries so okay. that the blood pressure goes down. Okay, just makes, makes the arteries bigger. wider. Just make it wider. Yeah, that's the ACE yeah, inhibitor. Yeah. Uh -huh, okay, uh -huh. lisinopril is one of those. Oh, I see. And that's in your top five. Mm -hmm. But we talk about herbal medicine, botanical medicine that naturally contain ACE inhibitor properties. Uh -huh. They can get at the grocery store, but mm. you don't even know it. Yeah. Virtually no side effects. Because the ACE inhibitors, you know, you have a severe kidney disease yes. by taking ACE inhibitors. Yes, yes, yes. And then yes, others yes. may take a beta blocker. Uh, now, beta blocker is funny because beta blocker is supposed to, you know, of course, reduce our heart attacks and cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. But beta blockers, one of the side effects of beta blockers, it gives you symptoms of congestive heart failure. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, and, and, and get this yeah. now, I'm not making yeah. this up. No, I understand. The last three letters of a beta blocker, guess what they are? L-O-L. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so you're taking a beta blocker, la yeah. last three letters is L-O-L, mm -hmm. that's a beta blocker. Mm -hmm. With one of the symptoms is congestive heart failure, coughing, and shortness of breath. You know, mm, so mm. it's like a catch-22. I mean, so we talk about... Uh, no, give me those endings again. Cause yeah, yeah, sense. okay. Yeah. Uh, so you have an ACE inhibitor, uh -huh. angioconverting enzyme, ACE, ACE uh -huh. inhibitor. It helps to dilate the arteries, thereby the blood pressure comes down. That's right. the ACE inhibitor. But, but and one of the main... By, by definition, Curtis, I, and not to stop you, that's just treating a cell. Now, the, mm -hmm. I got a problem, so you make the thing bigger right. so I can get more problems right, right, going yeah. through there. That's, yeah, yeah. So just, solving just anything. Give me a prescription. Right. Keep on doing what you've been doing. But, yeah. you know, so we teach lifestyle. Uh -huh. So, but, yeah, P-R-I-L, that's yeah. the ACE inhibitor, the last uh -huh. four letters, okay? Uh -huh. And then the beta blocker, the last three letters, L-O-L. L -O -L. That's a beta blocker, yeah. all right? And that causes uh, congestive heart failure symptoms, all right? I mean, it's laughing out loud. Right, yeah. Really, seriously. Yeah. yeah. So we talk about that, and uh, that's, that's going to be in your top five medications, uh, ACE mm -hmm. inhibitors as well. So now, we talk ACE about ACE inhibitor makes it larger. What does the beta blocker do? It relaxes the vessel. Just relax, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and does other things as well. Mm -hmm. And there are things in the plant kingdom mm -hmm. that God has created on the third day of creation week that naturally contain beta blockers and ACE inhibitors. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so they learn all that uh, in uh, the Health Talk Conference without any prescription mm -hmm. and no side effects mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Then we teach them about the magic word. We say, oh, yeah. when we are talking about foods and we're talking about reading the label, the main thing you want to look at is 15%. Now the whole time they're with us, we keep saying, so what's that magic word? So if you're buying something and the label has above 15%, mm -hmm. you leave it on the shelf. Now she's referring to the sodium on the, the label. Sodium level. Yeah. The yeah. percent of sodium. Yeah. 15. Uh -huh. And it's amazing because people say, well, I'm going home and check my stuff. When I go home, when we see them again, you're like, I can't believe how much stuff I have. It's like 24 and 37%. Sodium. It said tastes yes. real good though. Yeah. But yeah. it's it's killing me. Mm. Yeah. So yes. fifteen. The magic word is fifteen percent. Mm -hmm. So we don't mention about trying to remember the milligram amount. Nope. Because that's gonna be a bigger number. Right. Mm -hmm. People tend to remember a smaller number better. Truth. Yeah. So fifteen yeah, percent instead uh, of four hundred milligrams of sodium. No. Yeah. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. We have found a package last week oh. in the store. I, I think we got yeah. a picture of it too. The sodium level was 54 percent, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. like so over 54 percent of the volume is salt or yeah. sodium. S sodium, yeah, that on the label. Oh, yeah, right. so your percentage, yeah. DV yep. percentage, yep. 15, that's 15. the number, that's your maximum. Right. Right. So uh, now regular uh, table salt is, what, 25, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Low sodium is 12 percent. Yes. Okay. So people have ideas. So, I yeah. mean, just that alone mm -hmm. is the eye open as far as that 15% of the sodium is concerned. So if you see something with 50%, oh my goodness. you shouldn't even pick that up. No, no, no. No, yeah. no, no you, you should call somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, take this off the shelf <laughs> now. No, no, that, that, they should yeah. be arrested. It's a 54%. My really, really, it's, it's so that, 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 that education is so important because the people who are coming to the conference, mm -hmm. they've got high cholesterol. They've mm -hmm. got blood pressure right. issues. Mm -hmm. And when they learn just simple things like the 15%, they learn about the plant-based diet, they learn about the complexity of the foods that are better for them, they walk away saying, wait a minute, then I can make a change. Mm -hmm. We always say, I love what David says in Psalms. Mm -hmm. He's, I praise you, O oh God, because we are so wonderfully and magnificently made. Mm -hmm. So our bodies have the ability to actually heal themselves yeah. if we treat our bodies right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? there, there's a term called epigenetics. Genetics. Uh -huh. You've probably heard the term. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, they're confused, well, not confused, but there's a misunderstanding that 
epigenetics does not change our genes. It changes how genes respond. Yes, yes. The word yes, epi yes. means on top, the surroundings, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. And so therefore, based on what we put into our system, mm -hmm. We can actually change the way genes respond. Mm -hmm. We're not changing our genes. Yeah. No more. We can change the color of our hair or the color of our eyes. Mm -hmm. All right. But we change the way genes respond by certain foods that can actually turn off yes. or turn on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. our genes. Mm -hmm. And so those foods, uh, we talk about a plant-based diet, uh, can actually uh, change the way genes respond. Yes. And so uh, you know, as the saying goes. Bad genes loads the gun. Uh -huh. A healthy lifestyle prevents the trigger being pulled. Okay. My okay. grandmother <laughs> had bad genes. Uh huh. Bad genes. All her siblings, uh, they've been gone, and and uh, heart attack, strokes, diabetes, and um, so she had bad genes. Mm -hmm. But because of her lifestyle, she kept her finger off the trigger. Bless her heart. For one hundred yeah. and ten years, Ooh. she just passed last year. Uh -huh. So with bad genes, yes, heart yes. attacks and strokes, but because uh -huh. of her lifestyle, mm. she's able to live a mm. hundred and ten. Mm -hmm. So therefore, people say, well, you know, I got bad genes, but that can be reversed with epigenetics. Yes. Change the way genes respond, mm. and based on how we eat, we can actually do that. And heart disease is without exception. Mm -hmm. It's without exception. Wow. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, so I'm looking at the time here. Uh, what we're going to do is um, I ask people now, we're going to um, we can have six healthy heart conferences uh -huh. already scheduled this year and next year that people can, uh, if they live in the area, so mm -hmm. go ahead and get a pen out. Yeah. I'm going to give you the 1-800 number and also the uh, website where people can register yes. for the Healthy Heart Conference. Now, this is going to be um, uh, three hours, two days, a two-day conference on what we just talked about. But three hours for two times two. Right, three exactly. Hours, okay, three right. Hours yeah. okay. Two days, Healthy uh -huh. Heart Conference, right. how to lower blood pressure, uh -huh. cholesterol without medication, Wow. how to reverse coronary artery disease, mm -hmm. all right? And uh, also a heart of a woman. And then as a bonus, how to reduce chronic pain. Mm -hmm. Remember, Vicodin is usually in the top five prescriptions of this country. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going uh, on the screen now, we're gonna go to the first one and people can start registering now. Mm -hmm. So the next one coming up is uh, next month. This is gonna be at the Vicksburg Convention Center. The Healthy Heart Conference there in Vicksburg, Mississippi, yes. at the uh, Vicksburg Convention Center. That's uh, September 15th and 16th. Okay. And so uh, people can register now, the 1 800 number, 732 7587. This is free and open to the public. Let me say that one more time. Yes. Free. I said free. <laughs> free. Did I say free? You said free. You said free. <laughs> now, now, we do take donations, but it's free, a free and open to the public. Mm -hmm. They can go to the website and register now. The first 100 people who register. Mm -hmm. So the 100 doing the working hours or the website. So that's uh, Vicksburg Convention Center next month. Vicksburg, Mississippi. And, uh, right, Vicksburg, Mississippi. Uh -huh. We also have another one uh, in Scottsboro, Alabama. We didn't get this up. We just confirmed this uh, last week. Mm. Scottsboro, Alabama. It's about 30 miles from Huntsville. That's going to be October 6th okay. in Scottsboro, Alabama. And then also we transitioned to day two into uh, the, one of the Adventist churches there in that area as well. So uh, that's Vicksburg, Mississippi, September 15, 16, and then we're transitioning to um, Des Moines Star Seventh-day Adventist Church there in Vicksburg. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna go to uh, then the first of the year in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. It's really uh -huh. in the Montgomery area. We're coming your way, Healthy Heart Conference 2019. We're gonna be at the Holiday Inn there at East Chase. And um, February 2nd and 3rd, again, the 1 800 number is there. Or you can go and register online at adventsource.org. They're in the Montgomery area for the two days there, Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, that's their holiday in a Saturday. And then Sunday, we're going to transition to the Maranatha Seventh day Adventist Church that Sunday. That's uh -huh. Montgomery, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And then the next one coming up is will be in uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Healthy Heart Conference. This is going to be at the Courtyard by Marriott. There you have the address there and March 16th and 17th. So it'll be at the Courtyard that Saturday the 16th. 
And then that 17th, we'll be at the Oakland Parks Seventh-day Adventist Church. Uh -huh. We're going to be talking about also the healthy heart and also a pain clinic, how to reduce chronic pain. So uh -huh. that's in Murfreesboro, March as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And then we have the next one coming up. This may be, be our biggest one. Uh -huh. It's in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Next one's Atlanta, Georgia. Now, this is in April. Uh -huh. April, April 6th. That's, that sounds familiar. Oh, yeah, that's my birthday. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Atlanta Marriott Century Center. Now, the Southern Union Health Ministries uh -huh. of Seven Day Adventist uh, has, is going to sponsor this one. And so we're very grateful for that. So this is in the Atlanta, Georgia area, Northeast Atlanta Marriott mm -hmm. Century Center, right. April 6th and 7th. April 7th, we're going to transition to the Belvedere Seven Day Adventist Church there in Atlanta, Georgia. So we're going to be at the Marriott there on Saturday, mm -hmm. the Belvedere Seventh-day Adventist Church uh, that Sunday in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Again, that's the 1-800 number you can call mm -hmm. or go to AdventSource.org to register for that. Now, we can go up to 150 people for this facility because it's a it's huge a facility uh -huh, uh -huh. there at Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And then uh, also uh, the last one would be in Memphis, Tennessee, I think. Yeah, Memphis, Tennessee. This is August of next year. Mm at the Memphis Marriott uh, Memphis East there. And uh, again, uh, the Healthy Art Conference Saturday would be August 3rd there at the Marriott Memphis East. And then that uh, Sunday, uh, August 4th, would be at the Longview Heights Seventh Day Adventist Church. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, those are 100 numbers there. Mm -hmm. They can go to uh, the adventsource.org. Mm. It has all six cities listed in the south part of the United States. Okay. All six cities. You have, that's a very mm. aggressive schedule, yes. by the way. Um, <laughs> uh, and for the most part, outside of church buildings in public spaces, mm. places that are not intimidating for those who may not be that's church. Right, right. right. That's How right. do you, do you select your places? Do people call you and ask you to come? A combination of both? They, they call. Mm -hmm. Like we just got a call just last week, uh, maybe going to the uh, Minnesota conference, uh -huh. uh, a church there, a local church in Minneapolis, uh, contact us, maybe uh, the conference, in, yeah, Minnesota conference may be coming in. Now, let me say this now, mm -hmm. uh, we're booking 2020. Mm -hmm. 2019 is already booked, so yeah. right now we're booking 2020 now, mm -hmm. but we're going with the Healthy Heart Conference, and then we also have the Defeating Diabetes Conference. Oh. two-day conference too. Mm -hmm. So we go both ways. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so people more or less uh, call and ask us yeah. uh, by invitation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. when the need is there, we'll come. I ask you this, because obviously information is of great value. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Paula said you kind of do these little, um, sort of bring down the shoulders, a little, let them relax, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Uh, can't think of the word, but you know, it just, it just br makes them feel at home. Right. right. So, and, uh, and tips Once you get into it, what is the general mood of the, is it, is it a hard sell? Is it an no. easy sell? No. Do they buy it? Do they understand? Do yeah. they get it? Okay. Honey, Absolutely. Go, yeah. I mean, Go ahead, baby. If they're so surprised. Yes. And then first of all, members free. So people who have heart attack and I mean, problems with their heart or cholesterol or blood pressure, here is a program where I can learn something. So yes. they're going to want to come period uh -huh, that. Uh -huh. And then when they get there is because most of them are already sick. They already got something going on. Mm. So now we're now talking to them about what's happening. Because, you know, think about it. When a person goes to a doctor, they'll maybe name a disease you have. But they don't really get into anatomy and physiology. They said, here's your prescription, there you go. Right. So here we go. Now we're actually helping them understand the anatomy physiology of the body. Mm -hmm. That's what people are missing. Mm -hmm. They want to know what is going on inside of me. Mm -hmm. And then can it be corrected? Now, yes. even though our conference is, like Curtis said, is about cholesterol, about high blood pressure, we don't want to let forget about the part. That the major thing is about God. Uh -huh. It's about what God can do for us mm -hmm. if we would just align ourselves with the journey he has all of us on. Yes, yes. And yes. so that spiritual component is also a part of it. Amen. And not just the food and, and the education from a scientific standpoint. Now we're getting into lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We talked to him about the fact that, mm -hmm. you know, it's important mm -hmm. that you go to bed on time. It's important that you drink your water. It's important that you exercise. So all that's a part of conference, too. So it's not just really just about the food issue. Mm -hmm. That's why it's three, three hours one day, three hours another day, because mm -hmm. we're now going to do all of it. But we didn't even bring with us. And we have a track. Yeah. Uh, that we use. Mm -hmm. um, one it's of, from the Amazing Facts yeah, series, the one on health. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. And we get that track out. And so a lot of the people from the First Day Church, they are just shocked to know that the Bible speaks about health. 
Yes, I'm yes. Tell him, you I know, in the very first yes. book mm -hmm. of the Bible, God talks about the health message in the first chapter in the, in the first book mm -hmm. of the Bible. Mm -hmm. If what we ate was not important and we could do whatever we want to do, God didn't need to put it right there. Yeah. 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 So it's not just the physical heart, it's the spiritual yes. heart. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. what yeah. good is it if to have the best squeaky clean arteries in hell? Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't make what, too much sense. Well, well put. Yeah, you well know, put. I, I, I have sense. the best arteries. I had the best cholesterol in Hades. Yes. So yes. Uh, we want to close out with, um, yeah, two verses of scripture. We'll close out. Uh, one is uh, Proverbs chapter four. I'm going to read verse 23. I read in the King James. I have another version as well. Proverbs chapter four, verse 23. The Bible says, keep thy heart with all diligence. Yes. Not the physical heart. Yes. Now we're yes. talking about the spiritual heart. Mm -hmm. For out of it are the issues of life. I want to read in another, another translation. Above all, above all, be careful what you think uh -huh. because your thoughts control your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we can actually think ourselves sick mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by grief, mm -hmm. discontent. Mm -hmm. Jealousy, envy, remorse, guilt. We can think ourselves sick or we can think ourselves well. Yes, One inspired yes. writer says that nine tenths of all diseases held their foundation in the mind. Honey? Well, the one I like the most, and I give this a lot to my clients as well, and that's found in Philippians chapter 4, mm -hmm. and this is also in verse number 8. And this scripture says, finally, brethren, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue mm -hmm. and if there be any praise, think on these things. Yes, yes, well said. So we, we talk about not only the physical heart, mm -hmm. we have to talk about the spiritual heart spiritual. as well. Yes. So it's a combination of both. And uh, it's been well received of uh, uh, over 100 people in different cities. Uh, they came back from Birmingham, Alabama. And, mm. and uh, so we're targeting the South. Yeah. But yeah. whoever asks, um, but right now it's 2020. Yeah. It's I was going to go to that. Yeah. Your, 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 your focus, locus is the South. Right. You travel across right. the U.S. Yeah, Absolutely. exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Canada, uh -huh. Bermuda, Bahamas, uh -huh. uh, Barbados, yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you're a good advocate. Mm. Uh, obviously, you, you buy what you sell. Oh, but yes. you know, you're, yes. you're in good shape. You cook good. Uh, the food is tasty. Dances on your tongue and yeah. easy to prepare. <laughs> it's time about the taste of the food. Okay. Yeah. And, and all the foods and stuff that we're actually fixing today actually yeah. are healthy heart foods. Yeah. We already talked about the mac and cheese. Amen. Okay. We also bring it in a meat substitute, which mm. is our seitan stir fry vegetables. Uh -huh. And we got some real good green uh, green beans. Yeah. And we're going to have a dessert. I think you're going to come in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We're going to come in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. 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 Stay with us. <laughs> we're going to the kitchen. They're going to take off these nice duds. We'll be right back. Two minutes and two seconds. We'll be back in the kitchen. Well, welcome back to 3 ABN Today Live. The heart healthy, and uh, this is the cooking segment. This is the cooking the part. The second half. It's the cooking part, and really and truly, all of our recipes are actually going to be all that has to deal with the heart as well. That's right. Had okay. a good uh, interview the first uh, half, so this is the second half, and now we're going to go into the recipes and the cooking uh, portion. The healthy heart. Healthy heart. The we, healthy heart. Uh, you know, what? one of the things that, that's really good here, and that is that we have talked before about the fact of mm. uh, the things that we need to have when we talk about the heart. Okay. Um, reversing heart disease. Mm -hmm. We're now talking about things like the grape and the apple and the avocado, mm -hmm. you know, as a part of that grouping. Mm -hmm. And so that's what our first salad is actually yeah. going to be. And you know, I think, honey, some people don't really realize that heart disease can actually be reversed. Mm. I mean, mm. it can actually be reversed. So uh, we're going to go into this. Uh, and some of the foods he you have here in the first uh, recipe are those foods that can actually start reversing the process of heart disease. Yes, let's go to the recipe okay, then. Okay, let's do it. So it calls for three cups of spring green salad mix, one cup of red grapes seedless, one avocado chopped, one small red apple chopped, 
one half cup of pecans chopped, and one cup of raspberry salad dressing. Okay, it's going to be a scrumptious salad. Yeah, it's got some good stuff in it, you know. A heart disease. This is a heart disease. Reversing salad. heart disease. But it's for any kind of a salad, really. But just right. most time people do salad, they just do something like maybe, you know, uh, tomatoes and iceberg. That's it. Thousand Island. We're really working on this one. This yeah. is a good one. This is actually a meal in itself, but it is. It really okay. is. Yes. So what okay. you're going to be doing is I'm just going to go ahead on and start putting in the spring salad mix. I like this because of the fact that it has all the different combinations mm -hmm. of greens in them. Okay? It really does. Okay. And now you're going to go ahead on and cut those uh, grapes in half. Okay. And you need yourself a knife for that. All right. So let's give you one of those. I thought I had it right here. The red grape. Mm, let's give you that one. Okay. It ain't playing. All right, I like this. A colorful <laughs> one. Okay. Just, boy. Okay. You so cut these can, right in half? Just cut them in half. Oh, okay. And then once you put them in, cut them in half, we're going to actually take and put them on the salad as well. All right? Okay. I love this salad. It's very, very colorful. And you mentioned before, honey, there's been a lot of research on foods that can actually start the process of reversing heart disease and more particularly coronary artery disease, mm -hmm. and the red grape is one of those foods. Is it part of that group? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what I'm talking about. So, uh, And also in this group as well, I'm gonna go ahead on and move this down. It's gonna also be that apple, and the apple's a part of it right. as well. So let's do the apple. And this is a red apple that we're okay. using. Okay. And... The main in compounds in these foods, honey, the red grape, mm -hmm. the apple, avocado is the uh, polyphenols and the human body cannot store it so we need this on a consistent basis and thus the that's the compound that actually can start the process of reversing heart disease well and uh, we have all those foods right here well like I said these are gonna be good um, someone had asked me before could you do the green grape as well with I mean not the green one but the, the green grape and can you also use other green apple and I said no no we got to put in the colors the yeah. colors make a difference yeah the green grape doesn't have the same properties as the red grape mm. so that's the uh, difference between those two all right okay all right, so, now, so you got this and um, also don't you go ahead on let's go ahead on and I'm gonna put some of these on top of this oh okay and the rest of going I don't into want this I don't oh. want to throw them in there because we have to make it look Edible, pretty. Oh, okay. Okay. You gotta get so the warmest touch, that? right? When we're doing that there, I tell you what, I'm gonna take and take the races out your hand and then I'm gonna have you go ahead and finish cutting up some of the apple for me. Oh, okay. What okay, kind of chopped up a little bit? Yep. Okay. Chop it up. Okay. So we got the red, we got the red grapes, we got the apple, red apple. Mm -hmm. It's also a very colorful salad as yes, well. It is. Okay. Okay, and you can uh, next time, just a little bit thinner, tad bit thinner. Oh, thinner? Okay, well. <laughs> Don't worry about it now. Yeah. Don't worry about it now. Th this knife is kind of big here. <laughs> okay. Well, you know he's not, he's not playing, okay? Yeah, okay. Thinner. All right. All right. So, apples are going in. Yay, yay. And the skin is going to stay on the apple, by the way. Need the skin on? Need yeah. the skin on. A lot of people go ahead and peel the skin, but that's a lot of the... Uh, Nutrients is in the skin. Yep. As a matter of fact, we talked before about the fact that the nutrients are right underneath of the skin. That's right. Okay. And the apple is the second most often fruit consumed, oh. followed by the banana. Is number one. So this is it. Well, I'm just thinking that on this program too, since we're talking about heart disease, um, that banana is going to be showing up as well. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to put that away, and we're going to start on this avocado, because that's also. We're going to use have, both of these? Or? I'm going to use just one of them. How All about right. that? And I've already scooped it out already. I mean, I scooped it out, but I've already gotten it ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. The healthy fat, the avocado. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Someone, when I made this salad before, they kept saying, girl, I never even thought about putting all that together. The avocado and all those different combinations. So we're going to put in the avocado as well. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people are just stuck in the process of iceberg lettuce, tomato, ranch dressing, and you know, that's about it. That's about it. So uh, that's, that's a lot of ingredients. And like I said, now that. let's say for instance, if you had this in a, in a soup. Okay. You know, and mm. some bread, you'd actually have a full meal. Yeah, okay. Like that. All right. 
there's a clinical study um, that was published in the medical journal called Nutrients, mm -hmm. June 2017, just last year, uh, Nutrients. And they mentioned about fruit consumption and reversing cardiovascular disease. And they mentioned several of the fruits there, uh, the apple, the red grape, the avocado, the blueberry, the hawthorn. It's about six or seven foods in that uh, uh, three or four page uh, study mm -hmm. in Nutrients uh, Journal. And uh, so this is the foods we have in this salad. Is this pretty this or is, what? Yeah, this is, is pretty. pretty or what? And you're pretty too, and then Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Now we got I the threw you off a little bit, didn't yes, I? I? Yeah, you did. Yes, I did. Okay. So. Okay. You regroup yourself? Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. regroup. All right. So. Okay. Raspberry dressing. Raspberry, <laughs> uh, <laughs> raspberry dressing. You can use any kind of dressing, but because of the fact that we've got those apples and we got the grapes going on up in there, we wanted that raspberry. All right. Yeah. You can either find them. We also have raspberry dressings in our cookbook as well. That's right. But you can also purchase them. They're all out there now also. Okay. So let's just go ahead and drizzle. Just want to drizzle? Ooh, yes. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're working it now, baby. You're working it. Okay, this, this, is, this is work right here. It's purdy. This is purdy. Yeah. That's an and Alabama term. We're going to end. We're going to end. Then you got the, with what's the, walnuts? Pecans. Oh, pecans. Uh-huh, okay. uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. All righty. Okay, so this is a healthy heart salad. Healthy heart salad. It's a salad for anything. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Whether you have heart disease or not. <laughs> but because of the fact we're talking about heart disease. Yes. Okay? So we've got that salad ready to go. It is the first thing in mm -hmm. our recipes for today's program. Okay. And so now we're going to look at the next one. All right. The next recipe is because okay. when people also will start talking about heart healthy stuff. Okay. One of the favorite foods that people like is... Mac macaroni and cheese. and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. So now mac and cheese, that's not Ooh. healthy for a heart Ooh. diseased person. And I mean, the cheese and the sodium and the saturated fat, yes. the cholesterol. Yes. Are you going to do a mac and cheese? Well, really and truly, we call it. Cheese, cheese and macaroni. Yeah, cheese with some macaroni <laughs> in it. Some, some of the macaroni and cheese we've seen is cheese with some bits and pieces uh, of macaroni. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's go ahead and revamp that and change that up so okay. it can be healthy, but still be able to have the macaroni and cheese So be well. heart healthy. Yes, yeah, so let's okay. look at the ingredients. All right, let's do it. It calls for two cups of elbow macaroni. It calls for four cups of water, one-fourth cup of soy parmesan cheese, one-fourth cup of delia cheddar cheese shredded, three tablespoons of breadcrumbs, three tablespoons of of soy margarine and three tablespoons of unbleached flour with the germ. One teaspoon of sea salt and two cups of soy milk, uh, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast flakes, one fourth of, of the turmeric powder, and that's one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder. And we're using our cooking spray. Well, this okay. is a real good one, Curtis, once again. All right, now, mac and cheese, baby. For expediency's sake, we've already done the, 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 gotten the noodles ready. Okay, okay, got the noodles already. So all you're going to do really is just follow the instructions on the box as far as that goes. Now, but, now what kind of noodles but, now? We, we, but the noodle, you know, once again, I don't know if you're watching real carefully, but there's a lot of noodles coming out on the market okay. because we can't, we're not going to use the regular um, enriched Enrich. noodle. We're now going to be using, this is a whole wheat noodle. Okay, right. whole grain. So whole whole okay. grain type of a uh -huh. noodle that we're going to be using on this particular one. We've already got it ready to go. I'm going to start making up the sauce. Okay. Okay. And this is an easy one, too, because a lot of times, I remember back in the day when I made sauces, and it actually, to make good mac and cheese, you really have to make a sauce yeah. to go. The, the sauce right. is the make thing the sauce that up. makes it and go. And in that sauce, what we're going to actually be putting in there that's so good is we're going to start it off with the margarine, of course. We're going to put the margarine in. Mm -hmm. And Let's get go it back melted. now with the macaroni. Now this is whole grain. This is whole grain. This can be at any food store chain, correct? I mean, not necessarily it, at a health food oh, store. No, no, or, no. It's not a health food store. It's at a regular that's store. That's what I'm saying. Any oh, yeah. national food oh, yeah. store chain. Any food chain. Yeah. All right. Okay. And you know what we always say? We always say on our shows, and even when we do our classes, if you do not see it mm -hmm. in the place, yes. just tell them. Tell somebody. I saw this on 3ABN, and I saw them cooking with that. You guys have <laughs> those noodles. And we're going to say get it in. Get lobby. It in, get it in, lobby, get it in. Supply it and in. demand. That's the name of the game, all right? So we're going to get that going, and we're going to put in our flour. Okay. Now, that's the soy margarine. Uh, that's soy margarine. Different types of 
for margarine out there, out there on the market. That's right, that's right. I'm gonna now go ahead and put the flour in. So you're making the I'm sauce. I'm making the sauce, yes I that. am. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and put the salt in. Okay. And you know, this is really a white sauce that back in the day I used to use for making like a white gravy. And if mm -hmm. I want to turn a gravy, uh, let's say um, to a beef type of a gravy, mm -hmm. a brown gravy, okay. um, which you know we don't use beef, we're using a, a beef style seasoning. But if I want to use that, then I would actually make this gravy up and put the beef style seasoning in it to turn okay. it kind of the color I need, to need for it to have. Mm -hmm. And then also the same thing if you're going to make a chicken gravy, but this is a real good way to start it off. And you can make uh, um, Alfredo, uh, uh, noodles Alfredo. Uh, when you're actually making Alfredo sauce. Okay. It's actually the same as The well. same type of sauce? Mm -hmm. Okay. Same so thing. It's got to start sauce. off. It starts off with your margarine. It goes from the margarine, uh, the flour, and from the flour. Okay. Then we're going to slowly pour in. Now, you can use either almond milk or you can use soy milk, okay? Okay. Now, I heard you. I heard your aunt said, could you use rice milk? I would say to that one, the answer is no. Okay, uh, no. let's go with the almond and or the soy, okay? Now, why not rice? Because the flavor... It's not, what? It's, not enough, it's not enough nutrients in it. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I don't like the way it, it shows up. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start pouring in, slowly, the soy milk. And of course, now, we don't want to use regular cow's milk because of the oh, cholesterol and the saturated that's fat. That's right, that's and right. And high in sodium. That's it. That's it. It would that's just it. more or less ruin the mac and cheese. And the whole time you're doing that, you want to make sure you're stirring because what's going to happen is the rice, um, the uh, flour itself is going to the make it thicker. Okay, thicker. Make it okay. thicker. You don't want it to lump up on you as mm -hmm. well. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour some more in there. And this is a couple of things that I've actually learned. Number one is that when you're doing this particular milk, uh, this white sauce, in mm -hmm. other words, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that when you buy either the almond milk or your soy milk, that you're buying original. Do not buy it with vanilla. Oh, in it, that was okay? my next question. Because you have vanilla, no, no. original, so it's original. No, but you don't want to do. You want to do original. Because okay? it'd be too sweet, or it it's going to be too sweet, and it's not going to taste like. We, our bottom line is that we've got to make it look like, act like, taste like cheese is in it. All right. But there's no cheese. All right. Okay. So when now, they prepare this dish, hide all of the ingredients. The boxes <laughs> on the day of the trash can. Well, yeah. Trash man coming yeah, by. Yeah, yeah, because you know, once again, get rid of all the evidence. They see that they see that whole wheat, whole grain, uh, elbow noodle. They be like, mm, okay, something's up in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Now, while we're doing that, I want you though, because we talked about the cheeses, I want you to show them the two cheeses we're actually going to be using. One of them is a new one is out, and it's actually in all of it. So yeah. Your regular grocery stores now, you're seeing it more Mr. and more. Delia. That's the Delia mm -hmm. group. All right, and that Delia group is. A, a cheddar that we're using now, shredded cheddar, they have a block one, they have different ones, but that's what I'm using in this one. I found that when I made this recipe up... And these are shreds already? already shredded. Now, that's Delia, made... D-I-D-A-I-Y-A. Mm -hmm. Delia. Why don't you let them see that? Okay, you yeah, so that. if we can do that, uh, right. there it is, yeah, okay. See? And then on the other one that we're using it's also... It's all shreds. Shred now, is... this is the Parmesan yeah. of Follow Your Heart. Dairy-free Parmesan, I'll show Dairy this free. as well. This is uh -huh. also shredded uh -huh. as well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And there that is too, yeah. See, so yeah. we're using right. those to Both that. Of these. Now, in order to get that cheese flavor also, what I've been doing is I add to that also nutritional yeast. I don't know about you. Remember back in the day, that was back in the day. That, we used now, to back use... in the day means some time ago for those who don't familiar with that type of language. Okay. Yeah. Well, some time ago, uh, we used to use the nutritional yeast as a camouflage for cheese, okay? Um, when we did our macaroni and cheese, when we did our lasagna, our matacotti, we always used that. Mm -hmm. But we found out that, you know, I mean, it, it kind of played around a little bit like it mm -hmm. might have been, you know, a cheesy flavor. But okay. when these came out, yeah. Mm -hmm. And let me say this too, we talked about this in the interview, uh, this first hour, that we're gonna look at the, your cheeses. You always wanna look at the sodium amount, the yes. sodium amount. And we'll look at one number, we mentioned about this in the interview, mm -hmm. the one number you should read about, remember about the sodium amount is what, honey? That one number? The magic number. The magic number? 15. 15%. 15 percent sodium, all right? Don't wanna go with 15. That's it. Now this Delia, is 10 hey, that's why. So it's way under that yes. uh, 15. Now, what I'm going to do now is I found out also, once again, because the Delia cheese is also a melting cheese, that I'm going to go ahead on and put some of the Delia inside. So that's the Delia the there. Yes. Now, they have several. Now, we have here, it's a cheddar, but they have other... Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and put the whole Types thing of cheeses there. other than the cheddar. Oh, they yeah, have. they got every flavor. They have every flavor out there. Mozzarella gonna, and... Yeah. Now, I found out because the uh, deli is made with tapioca, and tapioca that actually... That makes it melt. Makes it, mess it melt. Right. And it, gets, it thickens it up, okay? Okay. I'm going to go ahead on also, and I'm going to put in the nutritional yeast. Okay. Okay. Now, that kind of thickens it up a little bit. That, uh, well, well, that's well, going to actually well, give us some more of a cheesy flavor as oh, well. Oh, cheesy flavor is what okay. we're looking for. And then I'm going to put in some turmeric. Okay. Rick, make it look that yellow color like the oh, cheese looks. Okay. okay. Yeah. So now it's turning we'll put it a little in, bit It's turning a little there. bit darker in mm -hmm. color. All right. And it's getting thicker. It's getting thicker. Mm -hmm. And it's going to actually melt down as well. Okay. You see that? You can mm -hmm. see how shredded. Yeah, I see it see? there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put in just a tad bit of the Parmesan. Okay. We get a little bit more of that Parmesan in there. Now that Parmesan is that also the Delia? N oh. No, the follow your heart. That's oh, the Parmesan. The one I just showed. The one you just. Oh, showed. okay. Okay. Uh, pay attention. Now, now, now. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and I, you know what, Curtis? I tell you, I did not bring my uh, my, my dish. I'm going to actually put this um, in, and it's sitting right over there. Is it clear or is it it's, white? It's white. It's white. Uh huh. And is it big or small? Well, it's right there. As you go around that corner right there in front of my rice dish, if you'll go get that, I appreciate it. From the white dish? Okay. Oh. So I'll go there and I'll come right back. And it's got is it round or is it square? Is it it's round? round? It's round? Uh -huh. Okay, so I want to make sure I come back and I have the right <laughs> dish. Clear <laughs> and round. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. I'll be right back, okay, honey? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. You do remember one time on our show, uh, I had Curtis running around in the kitchen. I had forgotten so much stuff that I was supposed to be having on the show, and I forgot it. And Curtis kept running back and forth to the kitchen. He went back and... Okay. See, see, I, I knew, I just heard the word Curtis. I rushed. Now, this, this is the right one? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, one time, you, I went back about three or four times. <laughs> I was so tired of that show. <laughs> I'll tell you. Okay, I got the right one. Okay, you got the right one. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is I've got enough of these other things, so I'm going to go ahead and put those away. Okay. All right, I'm going to hold on Finish to Finish with this? No, no, I'm going to hold on to that. Okay. I'm going to hold on to that. So it's going to get a little bit thicker. Once again, it's actually thickening up, but before speaking says once again, and it will also thicken up as it goes in with the macaroni, because macaroni, elbow macaroni, really actually has a starch base to it as okay. well. But see the difference in the sauce? See how it's thickening? Yeah, I see it now. All right, okay. so now what we're going to do is we're going to slowly pour this over top. Mm -hmm. of the noodles. And when it cooks in the oven, oh, okay. it's going to actually get Have the bigger. mac and cheese. Okay. Heart healthy heart, heart, mac heart, and cheese. Heart healthy. Okay, I'm going to sit this over here. And I'm going to use my spoon here. Okay. And we're going to just get all the, the, the goodies. goodies off of it. Okay. And as it cooks, it's going to get even thicker. Now, and they this will cook this. for how long? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay. Uncovered. Oh, uncovered. Uncovered. Okay. okay. Uncovered. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the dish. All right. Be careful, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Now. So Fill it up. 30 minutes for what's the 30 minutes degrees? at 350 degrees. 350 for 30 minutes. That's it. Okay. And what we're going to do on the top of this one here is we're going to put on a little bit more of the elbow, I mean the um, cheese. That's the rest of the... Uh, that that's one. the Parmesan. That's the Parmesan. Oh, you're going to put more of the uh, Delia? And I'm going to put some more Delia on top of it. Because, you know, we have to give the assimilation like mm -hmm. this. So when they come so up in there and they like see it, they're brown, like, uh, um, they, they'll be saying, like, mm -hmm. they're going to say, is that macaroni and cheese? <laughs> you say, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The word okay. cheese is C-H-E-E-Z-E. -E -E. <laughs> 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 that's what you do. Yeah. So I heard some chuckling okay. on the camera crew. And then we're going to put some breadcrumbs on top of that. Now, this have a brown uh, appearance on yes. top of it? Is that yes. what it is? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Got that little crust on top of it okay. that, you're, that people are looking for when they go and get the mac and cheese to put on that mm -hmm. plate. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's going to go in the oven. And at the end of the program, they get a chance to see what that looks like. I'm putting it in the oven now? 
You can do that. Okay. How about that? And we'll put it and in the oven, and then now we're, at the end, it should be ready by the time we close out, huh? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. I'll do that. Okay. So while he's getting that together, we then are going to go to another heart healthy recipe, okay. which is going to be our seitan, seitan. stir fried rice. Okay, yeah. let's do it, baby. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, it calls for an eight ounce package of seitan, one banana pepper halved and seeded, three garlic cloves, one teaspoon of ginger ground, one third cup of soy sauce light, one fourth cup of Florida crystals, one fourth cup of lime juice, one half teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one fourth teaspoon of sea salt, three tablespoons of peanut oil, one medium onion chopped, two red peppers sliced thin, two cups of broccoli florets, one fourth cup of basil chopped, three green onions chopped, four cups of baby spinach, three cups of cooked brown rice, and one fourth cup of walnuts chopped. Now this right. is another favorite because okay. what we're doing now is we're actually gonna replace out the meat. Okay. We talk about heart disease, saturated fat, cholesterol, cholesterol issues. Cholesterol, all that kind of good thing. Now you mentioned seitan. Let, let's talk about, okay. this may be new to a lot of people, seitan. So what, but, what is seitan? Yeah, what? okay, okay, now, now. A long time ago. Or a long time say, ago. Back in the day. Back in the day. Which okay. is some time back ago. In the day. We used to make this seitan, which is a new name they got now for it, but it was just really gluten. Oh, gluten. It was actually the washing of the flour continuously till you under finally got down running to the water. under running okay. water. And then you would cook it in a pot with oh. onions and bell peppers and everything. And you'd make gluten steaks and burgers and all that. That was back in the day. It took forever. Okay? Yeah. Now you and have so gluten flour. Now you can do we have vital wheat gluten and a vital wheat gluten. All you do is just put all your seasonings in a bowl and then you're going to add water to it mm -hmm. and it turns into. That right there. Seitan. Seitan, okay. Yeah, seitan, okay? okay. And so this came in like little chunk pieces, but because we're going to be using it, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just slice it up because you can buy it in strips. Now it comes frozen or. No, no, oh, it comes what? in the regular section where they have tofu and. Um, um, I mean, does it come frozen? Oh, no, 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 oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. It's, in, it's in the same section where regular uh, tofu, soft tofu, or extra okay. firm, is right in that section where mm -hmm. they have the vegetables and stuff, okay. and they okay. have a special section. That's where you will see it. Okay. Okay? Right. So it's there. But, you know, also, uh, eventually we'll be showing you, because in our book we do have how you can make your own gluten steaks and burgers yourself mm -hmm. by doing what we were saying before. So right now, for convenience sake, we already have it like this, made up, ready oh, to go. Oh, okay. Now, what you're gonna be doing while I slice the rest of this up is that I'm gonna have you begin to put into the food processor. You're gonna put in the banana peppers. Okay. You're gonna put the garlic in, and then I'm, you're gonna slowly add in. Let's go ahead and start those up. And we're only gonna pulse. We're not gonna spin, spin them around long time. Now? Go ahead and put it in. Okay. All right? And then the... Uh, and the garlic. Okay. Okay? And then all you're gonna do is just use your pulse. Let me, uh, oh, Sure. Okay. Then all you're going to do is just actually just pulse it for just a few pulse minutes. pulse it? Uh-huh, because we're okay. going to make a marinade to go over top of this dish, all right? And what else? Anything else? We'll just go ahead and pulse than, that. Okay. Make sure, no, no, you got Oh, it. yeah, okay. Put everything down. We need all that. There you go. Okay. All right. All right. Pulse just a couple times. Do it a couple times more. And then go ahead and use your spatula to Get make sure sides. you put everything down on the sides there. All right. And I'm kind of like just cutting these down to bite-sized pieces, really. Okay, pulse a little bit more. Yep. Okay. All right. That's okay. enough. Now let me just do this. Let's just go ahead and get all this around to the bottom because mm -hmm. we can maybe put the other stuff in as well. Now, so this can be as any type of substitute you would normally use for beef for beef um you can beef and it depending on there are there are um ways you can also make this up it actually looks like chicken but basically it's for beef okay 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 now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting in slowly you got the ginger and you're going to still continue to pulse and you have the salt okay you got the florida crisp as i put it in mm, oh. no 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 just go ahead and put it in oh okay you're going to use your special here you go here you go okay okay all right and then and the, the salt, salt. Mm -hmm. all right 
And what, uh, this is what, Florida Crystals? It's the Florida Crystals. Okay. Now, talk about that because this may be this new to... This is a pure to, cane, to, yeah. a cane, uh, sugar is out on the yeah, market. It's a little bit less processed. That's, it's not, and this yeah, is that's the, right. uh, that's the lime, lime juice. juice, all right. Okay, and then a tad bit of a uh, red pepper flakes. Just a tad. Just a tad bit. Just for a little kick. On up in there. Just a little kick. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay. okay. And then we're going to oh. add, lastly... Put it in there now? Let's go ahead on and pulse it a few minutes. Okay. So when we put that soy in there. You're just mixing it up, all right? Okay. And then now you can just take, leave it oh, on. Oh, I'm going to leave it around on. the edges. Oh, go ahead and round yeah. the edges. Okay. okay. And then going to keep on, just keep okay. moving around. Uh, you probably have a smaller uh, uh, food processor. This is my favorite one. You see how it's, it's, it's blending things mm -hmm. up? And actually, this is what's going to be going over the seitan. That's what's going to be giving flavor to it. Okay. All right. And you're going to just pulse it. You smell that? Can you mm -hmm. smell them banana peppers in there? And this will go in. This is the... Um, light soy sauce. Yeah, light. All right. Okay. Now, regular soy sauce, of course, is going to have more sodium. If you do the soy sauces, then you want to remember, mm. remember you want to use light soy sauce. Mm. It's equal as far as sodium count as, as it would be if you were using Bragg's right. liquid amino. So some okay. of you say, I use Bragg's. You can use Bragg's also mm. in this recipe as well. Okay. okay. All right. All right, so what we've done here is it's going to scrape all that down. What we've done here is we've actually are making the base to go over the meat. It's going to marinate the meat so that it has that kind of flavor we need to have to make this dish knock down, drag out good. Okay, okay the word knock down and drag out means that is absolutely <laughs> delicious. Knock down and drag out. And then drag it out. And you got to drag it Both out. Both of them together. Yeah, knock it down and drag and it out. I think you're ready. I think I'm ready. I think you're ready. Okay, let's do it. Over. Let <laughs> <laughs> him pour it over top of that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, dokey. And what you want to do, baby? I just take now this. Now take this take up that out. I'll and take that. Oh, wait a minute, hold it. Got some goodies on it. Yes. Oh, got Go ahead and do that, baby. It. Let's get that. All that off. Now, so this can marinate. Uh, it marinates for about oh, 25. Just 25 oh, minutes. Oh, 25 minutes. Okay. Okay. But you know, we're on 3 ABN TV, so we have that instant everything. Right. Mm hmm. Everything mm -hmm. is fast at everything the 3 ABN kitchen. Our ovens are fast. Ovens are fast. Everything is fast. Everything is so fast at 3 ABN. <laughs> so, come at 3 ABN, do your cooking, come back home. All your foods be ready. Be for ready to go. Okay. Just hold that one minute there. Okay. Get the rest of all, make sure you get all your goodies in there. This is what really makes this come out. I don't know, you cannot smell it, but it is absolutely, oh, here, babe, put that back in there. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's going to sit and it's going to marinate and it's going to give the flavor so that it will make this dish really taste good. So, so we're finished with the food side. processor. We're finished with the food processor and we're finished with all these because we're now getting ready to get busy with the stir fry portion of this. All okay. right. All right. So we've already did that whole ingredients thing on that one there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and start putting on, bring out the wok. It's time to, put, to bring the wok out. Okay, the wok. Now, so what color is the wok? Is there a color? The wok is, is, is red and black. Red, is it red on top and black on the bottom? Uh-huh. And it's round? Uh-huh. Okay, I want to make sure I get the right one. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Now, I'm right here, so don't talk too loud because I can hear you. Okay, I won't. So, you see, he had to go over again and get the stuff he to have because it's just not enough room on his counter for every time. <laughs> see. Hey, I, honey. No, no. No, I heard a camera crew <laughs> laughing. I heard that. Okay. I hope it's all good, though. It was. Yeah, okay. All yeah. right. All right. Do a plug in. I'm just going to sit this right, and... there right now. And hold up. With well, my, yeah, plug is on this side. It's on this side, baby. Oh. Uh, medium. Okay, let me, okay, can you see on that side yeah, there? Yeah, it's okay, medium I now. In, I want, okay, because it gets hot fast. Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay. All right, now where's hot. all of okay. our ingredients for this one? Okay. All the ingredients are behind you. All right. Okay. I didn't have you go back in the, in the back for that one. Okay. This is all the good stuff now. Look all at right. all of this. Look at all of this, Curtis. Yeah, all put this. It all together. All of this is actually what we are going to be using. And we got the onions, the pap red pepper, the walnuts, the olive, this is your peanut spinach. oil, the spinach, and the broccoli, broccoli right. florets. Okay. And I know you said that's a lot of stuff to go in that stir fry, but ooh, honey, turn it down. Oh. 
Yeah. But, okay, it's moving fast. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's, and it's on it's low. start to smoke a little bit. We don't want that smoke in. Okay. All righty. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it down really low. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and put the peanut oil in. And I like to walk because when you do the walk, no, 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 leave it oh, where it is. Okay. Okay, when you do the, we, when you use the wok, you actually um, get a better texture to the foods we're going to be using here. Okay. Better texture and you're right. actually, okay, so with this one here, what we're going to start off for, before we put the seitan in, we're going to go ahead on and begin. Now, we already got the flower rats, so, oh, you need to go ahead on and do some, how about, how about oh, doing some onions? That's some okay. chopping got, to do. Got your knife? Uh, yes. Okay, okay. what you want, uh, you want dice or what? Chop, yes. yeah, dice it. Okay. okay, so while you're dicing that, and I'm going to use my other one. This knife, Once does, you get this that knife going, doesn't play. It does not. It, and, and I'm telling you, you cannot, you cannot get your fingers on that. You have to be very, very careful with that. Okay? It looks like it's not fact, that sharp, but... I know. You know why? Because the color because of Because the color is like this little play knife. But we went somewhere and did a program, and believe it or not, we did a cooking school, and they gave me this whole set as a gift. I'm they like, sure did, yeah. yeah. But you have to keep them in their cases, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. Mm. All right? So once you get that chopped up for me, go ahead on and put that into the skillet okay. for me. Put that in. Got that peanut oil in. All of it. Uh-huh. 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 That's enough, baby. Okay. You good. You good. All, All right. right. Go ahead and put that in. All right. Now we'll turn it up a little bit. Okay. And if you had not done enough, we'll go ahead and let you get started on while we're doing that. And uh, on them. peppers. All right. Peppers. Okay. And so once again, and the peppers are going to be a little bit more, a little, little larger. You don't have to make them oh, real. Yeah, a lot of different kind of combinations of stuff oh, we're okay. using on this one. Okay. And in this recipe also, we're going to be using that spinach, but we're going to use a little bit of spinach in the uh, ingredient itself as we're cooking it up. And then we're going to use a little bit, a little bit later on. That's why I have two different bowls of the spinach. And it's like two cups and two cups. Okay, baby spinach. And this is a real exciting, delicious dish, okay? Mm -hmm. So... Now, how did this recipe come about, honey? Um, I use a lot of different combinations, Curtis. I've got quite a few stir fries that I've done, but when I started working with the seitan, um, uh, gluten stuff, I said, well, you know, let's get a little bit more creative, okay? How about this, honey? That's good. Put it on in. Okay. Ooh, one tried to escape. Lost one. Well, no, it, I'm oh, back. You got it's it. back. It's back. Okay. It's back. And this is so pretty, all right? And we're just going to be sautéing this for a few minutes. All no, right. It's, it's on two. It's That's fine. Okay. Good. Noise. Okay. And then on top of that, we're going to go ahead on and put in the green onions. Go ahead and let that start up. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm holding that back to cilantro for a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and stir that up. I've already, believe it or not, I've already taken the flour rats and I've already steamed them okay. so that they're already ready to go as well. So we're going to go ahead on and put in, just stir that a little bit more for oh, me. Oh, okay. You can see the temperature is just right. Don't it smell that smell? Mm -hmm. Push that that way so the camera crew can smell that as well. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. All right, here goes the broccoli. All right. Scoop it. Okay. Isn't that pretty? It's getting colorful now, baby. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. And then we're going to put our first layer of the spinach on top. Oh, okay. Now, just to cook it down and add a little yep. bit more moisture, all you're gonna it? Do, yeah, all you're going to do with that is just, um, once again, you're going to continue. I'll let you do that. Okay. We're just going to continue just to flip it over. Fold. The word, it's the word fold. You know, you learned fold on one show. I learned fold and about I mean, 10 years ago, and you I've been folding, folding ever since. Ever since. You're just <laughs> looking for a chance, the opportunity to be able to, to fold. fold stuff in, fold stuff in, yeah. okay? And usually what can happen with this also is you can put the lid on top of it and let it begin to simmer for just a few minutes. You hear it making all that noise, but the, lead, the uh, spinach is actually going to wilt on you, okay? It's going to get okay. that wiltingness on it. And it's already doing that now as well, okay? Is this pretty or what? So now the seitan, that's going to be the last thing? No, it's oh. going to be next to the last. We're going to be using that. And then, of course, the walnuts and then the, the um, basil, fresh basil. So when would you add the other I'm going to put that spin? in a few minutes. Oh, okay. A few minutes. You want this to cook down first? It, yeah. Okay. And it, once okay. We, we're going to do is we're going to actually, because we're going to put the lid on it, so they'll get a chance to see this also at the end as well. I see. All right? 
So we're going to go ahead on from there. Okay. And we're going to put in, let me get my spatula, my spatula. Out. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't we go ahead on and add in the rest of the spinach. Okay. Is it wilting? Yeah. Okay. If you do all of it at once, it'd be... Well, it's gonna. It, once the uh, um the the broccoli and the onions and everything gets hot, they automatically wilt. Okay. The spinach. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. This is now, absolutely you, gorgeous. Why did you prepare this dish for me? It's, has it been? It's been a while. I don't remember. Uh, this is a brand new recipe. Yeah, because I don't remember so your, eating this. So your first experience is going to be... On 3 ABM. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Right up in here. Right up in here. Uh-huh. So... <laughs> <laughs> now, remember all that marinade we had? Okay. We're going to use all of that to season this, okay? okay. So now, very slowly, you're going to go ahead and put in... Now, marinate. Ooh. So now, normally this will be soaking or marinate for minutes. Tw twenty-five minutes. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna but do it right away we're because on TV. we're on three ABN TV. We got it going on. Let's go ahead. All right. Get okay. all the goodies. All the goodies. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know that. This is going to be some kind of good. Some kind of good. Some kind of good. And it's taking the place of meat. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now you don't have the cholesterol nope. that you would normally have in meat. Right. You don't have the saturated fat that you would normally have in meat. Yeah. And you don't have the high sodium that's naturally found in beef, in meat. That's it. All that together. And you don't have the inflammation that's found in the meat. And muscle food. tissues of flesh foods. So, and it's a good dish once again, and we serve this over brown rice as okay. well, um, so it could be a complete meal. Remember, we did the salad already, you know, we did the mac and cheese already. We talked about we really trying to get heart healthy, yes. okay, but with the foods you're used to eating mm -hmm. and in a better and a healthier format, all right? There you go. So, guess what? I also have, we're going to be putting on this, is fresh basil. Ooh. Now, Ooh. that came from your garden? Yes, this, it did. Yes. Yes, it and did. So the your garden in the first first half hour. You, you, you catch that? Did you, could you catch that? Did you just? Yeah, just I, I, catch I caught it. it. You smell. You I caught it as I was talking. You got that? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, not oh, to me. Okay. To them out there. Oh, oh. Yeah, the camera. Okay, 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 okay. okay. You, you so, can kind of happy. With I know, this I know, because I mean, you, you're kind of over the top on this <laughs> cooking show, right? Here. <laughs> <laughs> you do, took it to another level, honey. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And so there's two things that can happen. Okay. Number one, you can actually put the um, um, walnuts, chopped walnuts on it at the end when you're about ready to serve it, mm -hmm. and or you can put it in there with it. I'm going to choose okay. to put it at the end, so you'll see it at the end when you see the end product. Right. And if you can see now... So now this should be covered then for a little while? We actually just cover it up. Okay. And we're going to go to our very next recipe. Want to put that lid on top of that for so me? So I turn it down a little no, bit? No, 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 we're just good, we're it good, we're like good, it is we're now. good, yeah. So this will cook for how long now? About 15 minutes, just about enough to get that. Minutes. Remember, everything is basically already cooked. It's okay. in there, okay? All right. So, so yeah. put the top on. Go ahead and put the top on, and you can shut that one down. And here okay. we go. Oh, good, okay. You can turn it off if you want to. I think we're good. Or turn off completely? Yeah, because what's, what I want to do is I want to go ahead on and let it finish sauteing while we go to the next recipe. Okay. So... All right. We're going to move to the next one, and that is a garlicky green beans. Oh, okay. It calls for one and a half pounds of green beans fresh, or one fourth cup of soy margarine, four garlic cloves minced, one half cup of onions chopped, one half cup of soy bako bits, one tablespoon of McKay's chicken style seasoning. Okay. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> okay. This is a real good one. I really like it yes. a lot. Yes. Yes. Okay. And sounds good. Sound, sounds interesting. Yeah. So we're going to actually now, have you. Now you got the. Uh, now let, let's let's okay. talk about this before we go into this because I know that I try to answer questions that people want to ask. That's right. But can't. I so know. I'm asking for them. Now, the bacon bits. But you know when you go to the store, you see in this section where you have the bacon um, bits, regular, mm. real bacon bits. Okay. But also right next to them, you also have soy bagel bits. Okay, so this is, this is soy-based. Soy-based bagel bits, 
Smells like, mm -hmm. got the hickory aroma and flavor, mm, like regular. Yes, yes, it has that flavor. Bacon, which yes. we're, we're doing heart healthy cooking, so we're heart not healthy. doing a bacon. All right. Okay, all right. Okay. And then, of course, uh, we talked about the soy margarine. And we got soy margarine, soy margarine that's on the market mm. now. A lot of new margarines yes. are coming out on the market, by the mm. way. So we got the soy margarine as well. And instead of a lot of salt and everything, we're going to be using a McKay's chicken style seasoning. Now, Let's talk about that, yeah. There are two seasonings out that I mm. use a lot in my yeah. cooking. Um, the McKay's chicken style seasoning is actually, do you remember when you would go to the store and you'd buy the, um, the little chicken bouillon cube? and you put it in water, so it's like one bouillon cube to one cup of water, it has to be hot, you stir it all up, and therefore you have uh, an actual soup base, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so this is really the base, this is called McKay's Chicken Style Seasoning. So it has no, no chicken. chicken. No chicken. No animal products at all, no, no cholesterol. No MSG, none of that stuff at all, it is good. And they also have one called Beef Style Seasoning, also. That does not have well. beef. Does not have beef. It's the same thing. It's a beef bouillon cube that you okay. actually put into one cup of water and whatever. And believe it or not, mm. McKay's chicken style seasoning and beef style seasoning are now in your regular grocery store. Because, Curtis, a lot of the mm. grocery stores have now gone to a natural food section. That's true. And yes. in the natural food section, you will see all the different things that you see a lot yeah. of times on 3ABN, mm -hmm. um, where you don't necessarily have to just go to a health food store. Um, because, you know, I, I, people are becoming more health conscious, and because they're more health conscious mm -hmm. now, you know, they're actually saying things in the supermarket. I know I do. When I go to the supermarket and I see something I just want to try and I want to check out. We go to the manager. Out. We just go yeah. to the manager and talk to them. And because we're so well known in Huntsville, guess what? If I say anything about a product that I've seen or want to try, mm -hmm. you ready for this? That next weekend, they'll say, we got you. We got you. And then I get a chance to go and tell all my friends, guess what store it's at? Mm -hmm. Right? I'm not going to call no names out, but anywho, yes. check around. You'll be surprised. Even here in West Frankfort, Illinois, when we come up here sometime, we go to some of the stores up in here in this area, mm -hmm. we even see them here That's as true. well. Yeah. So it's all good. It's now mainstream. It's, it's mainstream, now mainstream. mainstream. So, so, so now the uh, chicken style and beef style seasoning, uh, a good uh, substitute, is a lot healthier than yes. Absolutely. The, uh, animal the product cube itself. Is the 15 yes. magic, remember, magic word? 15. 15. 15. 15. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on because this is not a, um, a hard recipe to do. You're going to go ahead okay. and get those onions ready for me. Go ahead and okay, chop now, those up. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, take that off. That, that, yeah, that's that, yep. And be very careful because that knife ain't playing. Yeah, this, All right. you think it's support because it's blue. <laughs> uh huh. But uh, uh -huh. yeah, this, this uh -huh. knife doesn't play. And I'm going to be using. Let me go ahead and use the spatula first to put the soy margarine in. I love, this is a real good recipe. It's a quick one. It's easy to prepare. And it is so good because most of the time when people do green beans, they just do green beans in water. Yeah. But we got to. A little salt, a little butter, and that's about it. Oh, yeah, we got to liven up a little bit. I'm yeah. going to go ahead and get the rest of that margarine off of there. Uh, liven right. it up a little bit. Liven it up. And the green beans have already been steamed, so they're really ready to go. Mm -hmm. and now, once th these are frozen or fresh you're using here? Fresh green beans. Okay. And you know what? You can also buy them. Um, they got the, the ones that are in a, a package, a steamer, that you can actually put in your microwave also and steam them as well. Or you can also, once again, as we said before, just get the string beans, wash them off, cut them up, and get them ready for this as well. But you're going to have to put them in a steamer to steam them up a little bit, okay? okay. All right, I think you got it going on with that. Okay, Let's go honey. ahead on and put that in here with the margarine. Get the All right. onions here. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Get all the goodies. Get all the goodies. All right. So we're going to let that saute for a hot second. Um, There's a lot of butters on the market, um, Smart Balance and... It's so uh, many. I mean, there's so many out there. There's a lot there. of different yeah. ones out there now. And remember now, we talked before about this also on our program, is if you see the word hydrogenated oil mm -hmm. as the first ingredient yeah. on your margarines, you don't want to get yeah. them, all right? Or parsley hydrogenated. Parsley hydrogenated, yeah. you don't want to use those at all, okay? So, but there's a lot of to choose from out there. Just read that label. And mm -hmm. remember, the magic word is... 15. The That's right. That's on right. the sodium. That's it. Yes. On the sodium level, on the sodium level. It's easier to remember a smaller number than a bigger number. Mm -hmm. That's why mm -hmm. we say 15 mm -hmm. on your sodium labels. All yes. right. Now, I'm going to go ahead on and put the garlic in, too. Okay. All right. And this is uh, it's called garlicky, so you know we got quite a bit of garlic on this one. Mm -hmm. All right. And I want to remind you, once again, when we talk about the garlic, okay. is we want to make sure that 
we put the garlic in and keep the, the um, heat low because you don't want the garlic to burn. Okay. All right? You don't want the garlic to burn. Just enough. We're going to actually, we say, get the onions to a, kind of a transparency. All right. And that's what's going on right now. It's on a low heat. It's looking good. All right. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. This, this will work right here. All right. Now, we're going to put in our favorite. That is the green beans the are green going beans. in. Now, did the green beans come from our garden? No. Okay. Not this one. I did, I did um, have them from the garden, but these are a different kind here. Mm -hmm. A little bit longer, you okay. know. Okay. And so, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. It's a green uh, bean left. Yeah, you got it. Get all of them in there. That's right. You know, uh, uh, one of the parents called us one time, and she was saying about how her daughter is crazy about our shows, oh. Abundant Living, and what's going on. And she said every time the show comes on, either Abundant Living or Dare to Dream, our daughter will actually run in the kitchen, get all her stuff when mm -hmm. I say meet me in the kitchen. And, and mimic. And she goes and gets everything. And she said, I wish you could see her. I wish I could too. Uh -huh. And she said, I wish you could see her because she has a fit about the shows and your cooking. All right. And I think the mother says she, she does her, her neck certain way that you do your neck. I don't know what that's all Hand about. on the hip. I don't know what that's You about. go, girl, and all the kind of, all the <laughs> antics. And she's probably grown by now. She's probably in college. Um, but, uh, that, <laughs> that, was, that was some time ago. Because <laughs> we've been on the show for a while there. Yeah, yeah, so. Oh, man. I mean, I mean, I know. I wish you had smell of it. Somebody said that. Smell of vision I wish I had smell of vision Yeah. I or think 3A Ben is working on that, though. Yeah. Oh, listen to you. Listen to you. Okay. okay. Now we're so, going to go ahead on and put on the chicken style seasoning. All right. To give the flavor. Very good. Okay. So now this will take the place of salt. Salt. Okay. Yes. I noticed that uh, salt is not in this recipe. No. Mm -mm. All right. And you can see it's smelling good. It's smelling good. It's smelling good. Mm -hmm. Right. And then lastly, lastly is the soy bako bits. But check okay. that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, this mm -hmm. gives a little color to it. This also gives some color to it as well. And every, mm -hmm. every piece in there. And we're going to put just a tad bit on top of there. Now, would you prefer frozen or fresh string beans, or does it really matter? It doesn't uh, matter. It depends on where they're at. If you, yeah. know, um, if you get it frozen, I already mentioned mm -hmm. that. If you do frozen, then you can get the one that's in a steamable bag that's out now. Yeah. You can put it in a microwave or whatever. Mm -hmm. Ready to go. Um, you know, and also, you can still just buy regular frozen. If you do the regular frozen, you've got to put it in a steam basket. Mm -hmm. And we always say, basically, you know, about a cup of water, uh, let it start boiling, then sit your green beans down inside the basket. I don't mm -hmm. like to really cook my green beans in water, mm -hmm. all right? Okay. So with that in mind, you know, you can do it that way. And then um, so we got the steam basket. We got the microwave. Um, I think that's really it. Yeah, that's it. You know I saying? mean, this is simple, easy to do. Ooh, we. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Fan it, baby. Okay. Gotta fan it. Okay. Fan it. Okay. 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 No, you can't fan it with your back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just okay. with your hand. And we're going to say just a little tad bit to put on our garnish at the end so they can see oh, how to okay. finish All right. Okay. okay. Well, Curtis. Okay, I think we got we, uh, think we one last one. I think one we done did it. Go. We done did it because we got to go to an actual dessert. I know they said, where's the dessert? Okay. Yeah. Even so, though this heart healthy, but. I know, but we dessert. got we got dessert. Ready for this? Okay, so here goes the dessert. All right. This one calls for it's a strawberry banana sorbet. It calls for two large frozen bananas, one cup of frozen strawberry halves, three tablespoons of maple syrup, and one and one fourth cup of soy milk vanilla flavored. Okay. All now right. desserts, desserts, everybody dessert wants time. To dessert, dessert. So healthy heart right. dessert. So no ice cream per se, but we're gonna make up something that looks like sorbet. It tastes like sorbet. Okay, so open it up. I thought it was sorbet. It's, it's not sorbet. It's sorbet. 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 Not yeah. sorbet. Curtis. Open it up. That's right. Okay. Let's get the stepping. <laughs> get the stepping. <laughs> okay, you really, you're really going up. <laughs> the bananas. Okay. Just bananas, please. Bananas, please. Bananas, please. All right. Okay. And these all have to be frozen, so. Mm, cut there these up go. a yeah. little bit. There you go. There you go. Okay. So the bananas are going to go in okay. first. And because it is a frozen dessert, your bananas have to be frozen. Mm -hmm. So it's your strawberries. Okay. It's going to give you that texture you need for okay. a soy bay. All right. So, I'm going to add oh. a tad bit of the soy milk. It. Now this is original. This is vanilla. Oh, vanilla. Okay. okay. And you can go ahead on, put your lid on, and get oh. that started. Now you're gonna turn it on. Full oh. blast on. Oh. 
No, go ahead and let oh, me move. Oh, okay. Go ahead and oh, let, keep on going? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll stop for a minute there. Okay. Okay. And the bananas are oh, actually, I see. believe it or not, when I've made other ice cream before, mm -hmm. if you use bananas, they actually thaw out a lot better as far as, you know, when you're ready to eat the ice cream mm -hmm. or the soy bay, mm -hmm. it acts better. We're going to go ahead on and put in now the strawberries. Strawberries, okay. Here, those in. All right. Uh -huh. Here, use that to kind of break them up a little bit, babe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, see. <laughs> Oh, okay, see, okay, I, don't, wait, I don't know, why, why is there laughter? Um, this, this is a setup. I don't. <laughs> you doing this on purpose? The camera crew is laughing? I am okay. totally embarrassed okay. right now. Okay, I'm going to make this work. <laughs> go ahead. Turn it on. We're going to have a long talk tonight. Okay, I'll turn it on. Okay, here we go. Uh, Hold on one minute. Okay. And what I like to do with this curse, hold up. No, oh, no, no, don't take okay. it off. It's pulse. Oh, pulse. I'm trying to get okay. the bananas and the strawberries in. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. And we're now going to add in, I'm going to let it go back around again, and we're going to add in the maple syrup. Turn it on. Just pour it in. No, 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 oh. not right now. No, right now? Okay. Okay. Two minutes left. Okay, stop it again. And now play around with it a little bit. You want to make sure that the bananas. Oh, I don't see that. No frozen bananas. You want to make right. sure it goes around. Okay. You so don't want a dentist bill. <laughs> yeah, that'd be an extra expense on this recipe. I don't think that you'll get a dentist bill, but I okay. but I, I believe that it would be better. You gotta have a food processor for this by the way. Have to have a food processor. You need to have a food Not processor. A okay. okay. Let's do it again. All there. right. And we're gonna slowly add in the, the maple uh, syrup. Maple syrup. There you go. And we still have a little bit, but listen, remember I said before, is you're going to actually spin it around until we get all the bananas and the frozen okay. strawberries in there. And if it clumps up on you, not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Don't get stressed. It's not worth it. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So we're going to actually go to the feed, right? And then when they come back, they can see the finished product okay. and that strawberry that's all bit, done it. A little, little bit more. more. Okay, let's go. Okay. Now I'll keep on spinning for a while. So uh, yes. if you're interested in knowing more about my wife's cookbooks and how to contact us, here's the information that you need at this time. If you would like to invite Curtis and Paula Akins to present a wellness conference in your area, or if you would like to purchase their Vegetarian Cooking Made Easy or Global Vegetarian Cookbooks, you may contact them in a variety of ways. You may call them at area code 256 859-1982. That's 256-859-1982. Or you may email them at info at AbundantLivingTV.org. You may also write to them at Health Seminars Unlimited, Post Office Box 2873, Huntsville, Alabama, 35804. Well, okay, we are finished, finished product, finished, finished the product. healthy heart menu. Healthy heart, healthy heart, and we've done it all. We've actually got, when you look at it, mm. we've done our salad. It's got the apples and it's got the oh, yes. uh, 
avocado Red grape and, and grapes and, in it. All right. We made our mac and cheese. Mac and, and it looks cheesy, baby. Uh -huh. It looks cheesy. And then we did our, our seitan with the broccoli and spinach mm -hmm. and basil and okay. onions and all that. And then we did our garlicky green beans. Uh -huh. Some garlicky bacon green bits beans. in it. Yeah, we did. That's yeah, right. Did. And then we finished off with our strawberry sorbet. So now that I like that one. We can just go with that and go in the opposite direction. Let's start with that one first. I, I knew you were going to say that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I just said, let me just, you know, let me, I, yeah. you okay. know, right. so with this in mind. See, 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 CA's missing this, you know, <laughs> see, she, she said it's he should stay for the whole. Oh, oh wait a minute! Oh, 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 oh okay. Oh, oh, see, oh, oh. see, okay. The most important part. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Don't okay. mind if I put my head inside that parfait." That's, that's, I, I knew I heard some rumbling on the right side. I wasn't sure. Okay. Well, since the two of you are carrying on about the parfait, you know, you what, I only well, have one spoon here. So why don't I? We can have I, that. I, well, he, no, why yeah, I? Husbands first. Husbands first? Yes. Yeah, okay, Adam well, before Eve. Yeah, but if it wasn't for Eve, there would be no Adam. So let me go first. I knew it was gonna say that. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. No, see, that wasn't that funny. Don't, don't laugh. Mm. Mm. Here, close. John 10, 10. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I come, <laughs> that they might have life and have, have it, it more abundantly. abundantly.